All right, welcome to the. <laughs> this is some bullshit. This is some quality bullshit right here. All righty. <laughs> Uh, welcome to the OSRS podcast, where we talk about RuneScape-related content with RuneScape-related content creators. I'm one of your hosts, Mimekow. Go for it, Rexy. Uh, hey, it's Rexy's turn. Hello, guys. <laughs> Rexy. <yeah. laughs> okay, I'm sorry, guys. Rexy's on vacation again, so he won't be back for a while. Oh. Nah, I'm just kidding. He'll be back hopefully in an hour. He might but, join yeah. us. He might join us. Yeah. And uh, we got ourselves Rex up here, and uh, we have. Shy coming back for the second time. The first Hi. time we had, we had her for uh, bounty hunter rework stuff. That was like apparently half a year ago. Was and, it really? Uh, yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and guess, Damn. <laughs> bounty hunter rework hasn't even happened yet. Oh. There were some changes, but yeah. Yeah, there were like two updates, right? <laughs> Dude, that's kind of amazing that you've been on six months ago talking about the reworks and they have yet to happen. Welcome, welcome. Yeah. Would you like to talk about? I was pretty adamant. I'm like, yeah, they're happening. This is gonna be great. (laughs) Nope. Yeah. (laughs) Not even. Uh, (laughs) So should I tell us what you do on Twitch so they know about you a little bit? Some woodcutting. Uh, Some some woodcutting. No, uh, I usually stream bounty hunter or like no prey fire cave attempts. Pure Zora. How how many fire caves do you do if that's like part of your content there? Well, I just started doing my third one. I'm not like. That's great kind at of it. insane. That is kind of insane. I want the pet on my 13th uh, grade too. On the pier? Mm. Yeah. Oh, that'd be, be nice. Spicy. I remember you doing Zora too on your pier. Oh, yeah. I I do like no pray Zora. I try like. Oh, is that where you hide ones. behind the pillars, right? Yeah. yeah. Oh, that's badass. That is badass. Yeah. You do like melee only rotation, and then you hide from all attacking phases. It's gotta be like a ten minute kill. Uh, That's brilliant. <laughs> no, yeah, the kills are like, like three to four minutes on average. It's not too bad. Uh, oh, that isn't that bad. Tivo, I guess, right? It's not bad. Uh, what do you, you just mage it, or? Um, I did both. Mage does more damage in the range, though. But you can like Debo as Zoro goes under for like free damage. Uh, so, I see you got it all figured out. Oh, sorry. Oh. Uh, oh, where do we go? No, I think I was just trying to move over there. It is such a oh, rice is gone forever. See you, mate. It was. Uh, I am so yeah, angry. I am so angry. I don't feel so good. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there goes military cut boy. All right, Rexy's still here though. That's all we need. <laughs> By the way, I'm just gonna yell out sponsor now. Sponsor is OSRS Best in Slot, and they had a revamp on their page, and I gotta say. Actually looks really nice, and look it, OSRS Podcast. They got us on the front page, baby. Well, if you want to check out this website, use our link down below so they know you're supporting them through our link, which would be awesome. All you gotta do is click one of these and scroll all the way down, and you can get the best gear for Inferno. What? Dude, Fight Caves, Theater of Blood, Chamber of Xerix, kind of curious there. Oh my god, it gives you notes, tips, scouting. <laughs> oh, is that ass? I'll be real, I haven't used this yet, uh, but Rakesy told me about it. And uh, apparently you can compare gear. Rice Cup did that one last time where you can compare, you know, a helmet against a blue wizard hat, which I'm going to be real, dude. You could do whatever you want in this one. This is pretty badass, but boss gear? Are you kidding me? This is overpowered, bro. Dude, Skatizo? Come on, man. This is sick, dude. This is actually sick. And you just view the gear for Cree, and it gives you uh, all this all this stuff, man, all these guides. So, a whole new revamp on OSR's Best in Slide. Go ahead and check it out. Really, it helps anyone out. I'll probably be using it now. Uh, <laughs> it's really badass. And we're on the front page. So let me get back to the podcast. Use our link down below. And then it... Oh, oh, oh. oh, oh there we go. Oh, I'm back. There, oh, well, beautiful. My ears back. My ears back. There that's we go. all we need. That's, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I just listened. That's, that's awesome. <laughs> Fuck. All right. So we're going to be asking Shay some questions. Shy. Fuck. Oh, okay. God damn it, dude. I swear to God. So I was talking about uh, Shy earlier yeah. with Rice, and Rice is like, she doesn't like to be called Shay. And I'm like, well, I'm going to try my best here. And then every goddamn time. It's okay. Either works. No, no, we're getting it right. We're getting it fucking right. All right. You have to deal with this Discord shit. 
professional. So, if it helps, it's short for Cheyenne. Okay. That reminds me of the girl off Reba who got pregnant by her. You guys see that show? No? All right. Never mind. Uh, the, the daughter. She was like blonde, right? Or no, it was, the, it was the mistress. Cheyenne. Okay. Yeah. I thought the daughter. Is that a mistress name? The daughter probably got pregnant too. They all got pregnant. Yeah. In most TV oh, shows, like Cheyenne's are like strippers though, or home wreckers. So. Wow. Yeah. Legacy so... to live up to. That's fine. Right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Or Twitch Street. Yeah. You know, same thing, right? Fair yeah. enough. <laughs> so, yeah, we're going to ask you some uh, questions. Could be RuneScape, personal. Rice, would you like to go first, or would you like me to carry this here? Uh, I'll, I'll go first. Okay, so we actually all met up at PAX East this year. So what were your highlights? I guess it can be multiple answers. What were your highlights of PAX East this year? Hmm. Last year. Well, I got to meet a lot of people that I haven't met before that generally can't go out to TwitchCon because it's in California. And it's nice because I have a friend who lives out in Boston and she got to meet a lot of my Twitch friends. So I guess that was a big highlight. That was a lot of fun. We all bonded. Um... I actually only went to PAX East for Saturday, but I was in Boston for the whole weekend. We went to a Japanese barbecue place. Delicious. Highly recommend. Yeah, what's it called? Is that the... Um... Oh, I don't remember what it was called. Oh. It's like, it's expensive though, right? Super. A little bit. <laughs> yeah, because I went, I went there before. It was probably the same one. Yeah, it was kind of expensive. Sorry, oh, fuck we the webcams the again. Oh, <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> Yo, stop stretching it. <laughs> Any move I make is the wrong move. Oh, man, I'm done with you. All right. So I actually almost forgot about portions of PAX East. But, yeah, we all did meet up. I, I know. And uh, we were trying to hang out with uh, Shy. Sh boom. Trying to hang out with Shy uh, for the first couple of days. But she got in Saturday. And we all met up at this bar. And we're chilling. That was a sketchy bar. That was, I know. What was uh, the guy wanted to go there? He's like, one dollar Bud Lights. And I'm like, they should be 50 the cents. The floors were so sticky. Yeah. <laughs> I should have went into the I, men's bathroom. Jesus Christ. I asked yeah. my friend who lives in Boston, I'm like, do you want to come out to this bar? And she's like, no, that's a dump. I'll meet up with you later. <laughs> the whole time, we're trying to find a place to drink before we went to the bar. He just go, we got to go here, dude. One dollar beers. One dollar beers. I'm like, okay, yeah, I guess. <laughs> By the time I got there, you guys had like 14 beers laid out on the table. <laughs> <laughs> and we were watching the scuffed MMO tournament and stuff. I love it. Oh. Fucking wake <laughs> like Trying to take the Hey, if I can get away with it, all right? I got a mortgage now. So, why am I green? Mm. Do you guys see me as green now? What the fuck? Yeah. Uh, what is yeah going? You're good, you're good, you're good. You're good. Yeah. Or do you like watch Ozark? It kind of has that tint to it. Oh, there we yeah, go. Yeah, your lighting, bro, I think. Oh, there we go. All right, all right, I'm back. Yeah, Got some good. color in me. <clears throat> so, yeah, we had like 15 beers laying out, and then we went over to this area, and they took away our chairs, and the bar was shit, but it was still pretty fun. And then all of a sudden, Shy's trying to roll up. He's like, hey, <laughs> you guys want to? And I'm like, oh, damn. So all of us walked to CVS with her. It was like a bodyguard fucking posse, right? She was like the oh, merchant, yeah. and we were the fucking bodyguards just going, carrying the precious cargo. Yeah, there we go. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and rice cup, then... high. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man, we, we, we got high on several occasions. <laughs> Each one was fantastic. Shy, did you see rice get... At least a little blazed. I think maybe when we were playing beer pong. Course, yeah, we were there. Yeah, we were there. Oh we my god, beer pong was so fun. <laughs> until uh. <clears throat> uh yeah, no, let's not. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Until yeah. Like, streaming, <clears throat> you're like, what is this? No. Like, god damn. <laughs> we but, don't know who, who did that, but yeah, yeah we hang out with Russo too. He's another uh, streamer. Mm -hmm. Russo's he's awesome. His Airbnb, yeah, he's cool. I've never met Russo before until I don't even I don't yes. even know he streams. So it's always nice to meet people on Twitch that you. Uh, I think he used to stream a lot. Did he? Okay. Yeah. He's well, gonna we'll get back working. to it in a few weeks, actually. Okay, that's pretty cool. Finishing up with he had like a class over the course of May, so he's finishing that up. Boy, he's got to grind, do both, like me and Rice remember, over here. I remember the. School oh yeah, he line. also works full time and streams. Psh, yeah. Easy peasy, dude. Psh, right, Rice? Yeah. Start flexing. Yeah. Start flexing, military yeah. boy. Come on. <laughs> Hey, man, I just had to deal with some copyright bullshit yesterday, so I don't know. Dude, I'm scared for the YouTube copyright. It got solved, right? It got handled? Yeah, yeah. Okay. I hate it, dude. That shit was stressful. That must be so, yeah, it must be so stressful. 
I'm scared. Anyways. Right. Now, I got to reenact. No, no, I got to okay. reenact Rice High, okay? So the first day we get down to Boston <laughs> for PAX East, which is a gaming convention, by the way, if you don't know. We walk over to his friend's house, which that man stole my shoes, by the way. Feels bad. Well, you, you just didn't take it. It was. We oh, were God. high, all right? I want those mail delivered or some <laughs> shit. All my goddamn shoes <laughs> back. All right. But so we finally blaze up, and Rice is just gone. And then his friend takes us down this narrow stairway to go get food. <laughs> and it was like a life tower. There was nothing in the middle, just these ragged stairs. So if you just ate shit, you die, right? Instantly. Gone. Dark Souls. <laughs> So I'm just sitting here, like, trying to get down the stairs like this, and Rice is just giggling behind me, like, come on, dude, let's go. <laughs> oh, and then we got the tacos. We came back, and Rice, what'd you have? A fish burrito, I think? Yeah, I had a fish burrito. It was amazing. Dude, the, that was food like, was... This big. And then it just died. It just disappeared. <laughs> no, you ate it so slow. I remember <laughs> I, I chomped those tacos down, and Rice is one third of the way through his burrito, and he's like, dude. This is like the best burrito, bro. Yeah, yo, dude. Yo, and like for real, this is exactly how we found. He's like, you want some burrito? And I'm like, uh, no, I'm good. He goes, come on, bro. You got to try his burrito, man. And for like 10 minutes, he didn't bite his burrito. He just kept trying to get me to bite his burrito. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. He yeah. just wants to share it with you. Yeah, I want to share it, bro. You know, it's the highest. Okay. The love. <laughs> It was amazing. I fuck yeah. It was great. Oh, rice high, some next level shit. All right. Better than rice men drunk. Beer men drunk. Yeah. Well, okay. Yeah. You know, let's get to the PvP content, shall we? All right. Yeah. Let's go Q and A first, and then. We'll do the oh wait. Q&A. Oh yeah, I didn't go, huh? Did I not ask my question yet? Oh, yeah. you, I think you did. I think we got sidetracked. Yeah, yeah my bad. Just, no, okay. I actually had a question. So, so where did yeah. you and boy meet? All right. Um, at high school and track. Indoor track. track. Oh, that's yeah. cute. <laughs> oh, I heard. I just heard some echo. Did you do indoor or outdoor? I did. I did cross country, indoor and outdoor. <laughs> so did I he. Did, okay. Yeah, I did the whole year, so yeah, that's what I used to do. I did indoor and then I tried outdoor and then I got shin splints like instantly outdoor. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> if, if, if you run through it after a bit, you'll get used to it. But, yeah. mm-hmm. Stretch it and ice it. As we were oh. always told. <laughs> Jeez. Yeah, I I went I joined track because my crush was joining track and we had art together. So I joined up the next day and then I had combat PE. So that week we're playing dodgeball. Very competitive back then. Now I just can't even walk. And I'm like the last guy on my team and I'm throwing, I'm dodging. There's a 1v1 now. The guy chucks a ball. I do some of this matrix shit and I hear a pop in my knee. Like the loudest thing I've ever heard in my life. I ignored it, win the battle, victorious, thinking there might be something wrong with my knee now. The next day it's swollen up like a fucking volleyball and there goes track. Oh god. It's oh, instantly god. gone. But I didn't have to wear the spandex, so it's kind of a win-win. How come boys' track shorts are like shorter than girls' track shorts? Because the PE no, coaches are a little sketchy. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I still have my like uh, track shorts, you know, memorabilia. Somewhere. Nice. Is it like blog. the arrow for like a car and it just cuts through the wind or shit? <laughs> <laughs> Basically. Um, so you and your, yeah. your guys have been together since high school. That's pretty cool. Yeah, we've been together for 11 years now. God damn. Uh, 11 you... years. Yeah. And he it plays RuneScape? Like it, but it's awesome. What? Yeah. He plays RuneScape? No, he does not play RuneScape. Oh shit! Yeah, we met him. We met him uh, when we met you. Yeah. Yeah, you guys met him. Yeah, he was a cool dude. Yeah. I think he's going. He's going to TwitchCon this year too. Dude, me and Rice are trying to find an Airbnb, aren't we? Because I made Rice go to TwitchCon. So, what the viewers have been waiting for—not our personal lives, but the state of PVP, which is even worse than our personal lives. What do you want, Rice? The Q and A. The Q and A. One more Q and A. The Q and A for the YouTube comments. Oh, I thought we were gonna just throw that in. Okay, yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, it's 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 quick one. So before All right. we go. Okay, so we got a good one. Uh, we got what dead content would you like to get updated? And I guess for what? <laughs> I wonder what Shy is gonna say. Wow, I mean, woodcutting maybe. <laughs> but we're taking steps towards that. Hey, so. next six months we'll see you again. All right, we'll talk why we need yeah. it. <laughs> Have your check-ins. <laughs> 
<laughs> well, I'm glad LMS is getting like that because that was really awesome when it first came out and then it died out really quickly. It so was a battle royale. It was slightly fun, but it was kind of annoying though still. So I'm I'm glad it's getting reworked hard. Yeah. LMS. There were a lot of people griefing in it, but definitely mm -hmm. like I used to watch anyone who was streaming LMS when it first came out, especially with like the high risk weekends. You know, one mil buy -ins. those were oh, those were fire. People made what? Bills? Prayer mm -hmm. flicking? Oh, those nerds. Those those guys are crazy. Jeez. The worst time is when you host LMS on your stream and then everybody who hates you joins and just focuses you so you're out automatically and just in the loading zone the whole time. <laughs> it's so true. I hate when people grief and they just like sell their stuff and then buy food and then eat it all. So oh, you know. Yeah, I definitely don't do that. Yeah. <laughs> oh, God. I definitely don't run around half the map because I get mad. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> What would you what would you like to see change about Bounty Hunter? Um, the new the new system that they were talking about or that they mentioned like two years ago where you can get assigned tasks like kill X target with X item or using X method. I'm not sure how it will be exactly. But Whoa, that that's that's, that's a like thing? Nice that would uh, yeah, that's what we proposed like two years ago at Two years ago. <laughs> so, so it's almost a thing. It was it was a, uh, an idea. I think it's still being considered. I don't know if it's in the dev blog at all. What would you get if you did the you know, say you killed a guy for rune hacks, what would you get? So how I interpreted it is that it will have a separate like leaderboard because you know the current bounty hunter leaderboard is kind of really hard to climb up because some people have like literally yeah. eighteen thousand kills. So it'd have a separate ranking yeah, system, and then maybe you get like a loot crate or something from it, a little reward crate. Oh, that'd be kind of cool. I would totally oh, get in that. But I'm not like sure if that's actually how it's gonna work. Yeah, I'm... just get to wait for more information. Yeah, Shark, do you uh do the the volume thingy? Because my echo again. I'm yeah, sorry. We heard that. yeah, we, heard, we, we got heard the reverbs. That. I don't know why. Yeah, I I was in Bounty Hunter. And I think Randy's at the top of the leaderboard, right? Randy or Jandy or Candy. I, I, <clears throat> I saw him at the lever, and he's killing somebody called Randy Jr. So this man's not even being coy about yeah, it. He's, he's just... <laughs> he's Ooh, just boosting, I'm not sure dude. who that is, but yeah, a lot of people definitely do boost. There's like emblem farmers, there's raggers, there's a lot of negative things, unfortunately, with it because it's been not Sorry. really moderated as much as it should be. But the balls on this guy, man, naming his account Randy Jr. and then farming oh. himself, it's just... Oh, some people are like, Randy 1, Randy 2, <laughs> Randy 3, Randy 4, Randy yeah. 5. Not <laughs> one, it's like filing your taxes and just absolutely shitting all over him and sending them in. Like, it's, the balls, <laughs> the absolute balls on this guy and nothing's happening. Jeez. Mm -hmm. Oh, well, that'd be really cool to see in Bounty Hunter. Right, so what, uh, what... Maybe some new, like, we need changes to the store. Oh, shoot. The yeah, store? No way for me. For what? What? What update? What content? Yeah. What? What? Uh, you want herb change or what? What's going on here? Well, I actually, I would say it's probably one of the. I would say probably fire making, but that's probably gonna lead to question because like we're trying to just do two. But I would I would just say fire making is it's just a content that needs. Maybe not update. Uh, I guess a bit updated because right now it's just winter totscape for the most part. There's like you know no reason to do anything else. Didn't outside. they add it in to where you could do like fires around the map that are permanent? I don't. I don't know. I didn't yeah, do that. Yeah, but it's you don't train. You don't get. You don't train that. Is that trash? Is that trash content? It's, no, it's just a one-time thing. You just make it and you're. And it just lights a place up. I I don't like. Yeah. I said I don't do content anymore. I just go out yeah, in the yeah, wild. Yeah, yeah, It's not. You don't do that to train or anything. It's, you make it. <laughs> okay. It just yeah. lights some fucking fires around the map. It just boom. Yeah. It just makes it like oh for for example no darkness. You know no, uh, stat drain in in the ice area stuff like. That. Oh okay. Like but in the Willy God Wars or not Willy yeah, God Wars? Yeah. Sorry. Um, God Wars. Uh, yeah. God Wars. Yeah. Yeah. You just make once. That's it. It's not training. Because right now you just train fifty ninety nine, like only one method, which no reason to do anything. What, do you have an idea on what they should change to fire nah, making? Not no. really. <laughs> it's just a general answer. I, I like I don't think about it too much. It's just something that I thought was a question to ask. You know. Everybody. Okay. But yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Also, Lisa, what do you think is the currently most developed skill in old school? <laughs> I already kind of answered that. I, I feel like my my response to both both those questions. What about you guys? 
Yeah, it just kind of feels useless. Like, I don't see why anyone would do fire making. Like, do any other me method besides Winter Todd. Like, yeah. I don't know. I don't... Is there any other skill you guys? I don't really skill anymore. Um, agility's kind of got its own thing. Thieving, everything else is like branches out into multiple things that are boring. You know what I mean? Like you can uh, do it. Yeah. It's so boring. Oh my god! <laughs> Brother load mining. Ways to be bored of. Yeah. <laughs> right. So I don't know. I I couldn't answer that question fairly. I don't. I don't know what would really need to be added to make mining or. I still wouldn't do it. Right. I still would not train those skills. Sadly, I've. After yeah, unless it unless it's tied to PKing some, right? Unless it's in the wild, right? When you can get killed midway, like that's kind of fun. But I don't know. Fun for you or fun for them? It's it's a mutual. <laughs> Everyone's been talking about the Gmall rework. So before we read it, what do you guys think about the Gmall rework? Well, I only I only observe it as a viewer because I don't I don't PK with it. I don't PK at all. So. When I see people use it, I mean, it it definitely gets the kills, especially on those low defense players. But even on high high defense players, I've seen like you get you get that lucky you know one two three hit. It's not even like lucky anymore. You know how many times I've seen that happen? It's it's not even luck. It just happens. Yeah, because like... people do use it all the time, right? It's yeah, like, what it feels like, right? Yeah. Yeah, I feel like it's meta in every bracket. It's yeah, like you just you can stack over hundred damage, right? In like two takes, honestly. Because like the first two hits is one tick, right? Mm -hmm. What about the third hit, right? That goes with. Is it you auto attack first and then you you click spec twice and then it stacks three hits, one tick? You can so do it in a way where it stacks in one tick. Yeah. Yeah, you can yeah, yeah, you can yeah. do the wax spec if you want, but if you're like two squares yeah. away, you there's can't like different. Do it. Yeah, there's like different methods and stuff, but uh, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, it's crazy though. Yeah, to be able to hit like over a hundred damage in one, tick, pretty. I feel like I Gmall needs to be reworked or like nerfed somehow. I'm not sure if this is the right way to do it, but I can see it yeah. working. So but... they're ma they're making it so that you can't you just can't consecutive spec. That's what it is, right? No, no, <clears throat> that's not what they're doing. You PVM nerd. All right, they're making it so that the Granite Mall uses sixty percent spec, so you can't either AGS Gmall, yeah, Declaw Gmall. So it's yeah, sixty percent, not fifty. So it's not you can still oh, do it instantly. No, that's, what I, that's literally what I said, man. I said they they're gonna make it sixty percent, so you can't back to back spec. No, you said they're gonna have a pause in between the hits. No, I said because it's sixty percent, if they can't do a back to back hit, you can do a DDS G mall still. Okay, yeah, but like but not two G mall. But there is gonna be an upgrade where you, yeah, you can't do G mall percent spec, but it's oh, going to be okay. pretty expensive. It looks like. 10 mil mm. bounty hunter points, that's a decent amount of points. So they're not fixing it, that's, they're just adding a higher point. GP risk. value on it. Yeah, uh, yeah, adding more risk to use it. I mean, it's fair, because that shit is like freaking outpriced at this point. Okay, so well, I just don't know if people are even going to bring it in most brackets anymore, or if they're just going to try to protect that and not risk anything higher. I'm not sure what the outcome will be from that. But Ooh. Gmail definitely needs hey, to be Hey, if like, he can on death, it will drop 1 million coins. If, you, if this... It would date comes in mm -hmm. i mean oh, I, I think it's fair i think it's the like, the... yeah it's drop so one powerful. okay thing is on i have a baby pure on um i think around below 70 combat bracket and mm -hmm. the gmall at the moment i know you can one tick hp on mains but it's even scarier on this account because i can hit 32s of the gmall and then i hit 45 plus with my bolts and i found a mm -hmm. way where you just bolt Back step, slide two steps forward, maul, and it just insta stacks. Like there's no eating, there's nothing yeah. you can do. Uh, I've had yeah, people yeah, almost yeah, tank yeah. and they just instantly drop because of good RNG. And you can't eat out of it, you can't predict it, you can't p neck it if you max Rambo. Um, oh, you can't eat over fall anymore in combat. So. <laughs> you can't do anything. You just literally die if I can get that off on you. Um, yeah, how critical is the Granite Mall to peers? Insane. Like, and even if they add a 10 mil essential. attachment, right? Essential. They add that, and it's still going to be used by Pierce as a plus one, and nothing's going to change in that bracket so at all. So think, you think it's a, a big issue that Pierce can actually use the Grand Mall? Yeah, what I think is know? a huge issue, actually. I've been learning to main bridge, and every time I, uh, every time you see somebody try to bridge you, and they don't know what they're doing, they'll insta AGS G Mall you and run, right? And it has a <laughs> chance to kill you every time, which pisses me off, because it'll be three minutes in, they're like, oh, fuck this, and they just run to KVD. Every time, yeah, it's a bigger issue there. 
Fuck, this so, Gmoth sucks. I hate it. Do you think it. this nerf would, like, make people risk more HP, or... So I hope. So I doubt it, it though. People are already in that uh, safing phase. You're not going to get them out of that. You just have to nerf yeah, the armor like, they're wearing. Are you supposed to know if someone brings it or not? Do you just assume that everyone has it with the attachment? <laughs> I don't know. Because yeah, if but... you don't, then you just, you're going to die to it, right? So hold on. So you guys are, you guys would agree that it's just better that the Granite Mall get nerfed in general? Yes. Yeah. Because yeah. it, it's I think it's, it's too more... cheap for how strong it is. Yeah, okay. That's kind of like the, the feeling of getting. I don't even want the attachment, to be honest. How would you like it? Like just gone. Game? Just that's it. 60%. Just deleted from the game. Yeah, because you <laughs> could still DHPK with it. You could still DDS Gmall. Uh, it has its combos. You can do. A, I, I insta. Like, I'll have half a spec because I suck. And I'll still get kills with a nice, you know, range Gmall combo. It's really skillful, but two of them. It's over. Oh, 50 specking? Yeah. It's, I love 50 back here. Yeah, it's amazing, right? You just have half, you <laughs> clap, clap. You know, you could do two in one fight. Just clap, clap. It'd be nice. Uh, but a lot of, because when uh, this update was getting, you know, talked about a lot, people would ask me, what do you think? What do you think? And I'm like, oh, dude, they can't be changing the classic G Maw. It's a staple, right? It's like changing the DDS or the whip. But now, I'm like, get that shit out of here. <laughs> Please. <laughs> that and the crystal shield, release it from the game. Get it away from me. Dins <laughs> and the Dins All of it, dude. Just get it away. I don't want to see it. Absolute trash. Oh, oh actual crystal sh That's a That's too tanky. Oh. How cheap it is. All I know is if this happens, I'm getting 31 prey on my 13 prey G Mauler. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> all right, so how Unless does it always shit? drops on death. I'm not sure if it will. It doesn't say it does. That would be intense. <laughs> it would yeah, be very... That would be a huge money sink. Oh so so what's, what's the deal with a crystal sh it's just like you don't gain anything when you kill someone with it. Is that, that what it is right now? So yeah, a lot of Britting. Oh, that's what. So Amenity, right? Pretty pretty good PK. Uh, he's been complaining about the dehyde, the crystal shields, uh, AHK, and I can kind of see his point now AHK, while getting in the main yeah. Britting is because people will just have a crystal shield, Zerik and Robes, risking under 200k, uh, and yeah, it doesn't matter what they switch. Smart. Once they put those robes on, they're they're pretty much god tank, right? You're not gonna freeze them. You're not gonna range them. You might be able to AGSG maul them, but I mean, you know, if you're a big puss, it's strong. Yeah, dude. Crystal Shield's just tanky as hell. That 80 range defense for free. I think it's, it's better than free. a DFS almost it, it in terms for Britting. Yeah, for range uh, range defense, Crystal Shield's got the highest. That's ridiculous. Uh, Get it out of the game. Yeah, That's 80. disgusting. Not in the wild, at least. Go for DKs, but. I mean, they, I'm sure there are ways for them to, like... I mean, I mean like, cause when you charge a crystal shield, right? The cheapest you can charge it is, I think, 150k. I feel like if you kill someone with it, you should at least get 150k. The big question is if you kill someone. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I guess so. You can kill someone. It's so easy to tank. It's like, oh! So people bring, like, 10 brews, right? So they don't get single clan. And they'll leave in like six brews when they're like, oh, can't kill you. And they'll just walk away, you know, just, just steadily walk away. No run. Just, oh, you want to kill me? Nah, fuck you. I got a blank DI and a crystal shield. There's nothing you can do. And that's that's main birding right now. Yeah. Speaking of black beehive. Mm. <laughs> Next one is black beehive. <laughs> do you think the only reason why this got talked about is because Amenity brought it up in one of his videos? I feel like, I feel like, I feel so like a lot of people talked about it, dude. Dude, no. No, they I haven't. Asked, uh, until oh, now. I, I mean, I get asked about the Black Dehyde. I don't even PK. That's the funny thing. No, well, that's the thing, man. Before people talked about Black Dehyde, Amenity brought it up because he actually looked into the defense levels. And this, you know, he's a, he's a huge nerd. He knows the stats on everything. And he's comparing it to Carol's. And it's, yeah, Carol's is still... Yeah, yeah just crazy. slightly better, right? But this is 40, de uh, 40 defense armor. And then he added it, and the video got a lot of likes. And then ever since then, I've heard people talk about it more. Okay, sure. Are you talking I about his, like, combat from time video? Yeah, because yeah. before then, I didn't hear anyone talk about it at all. I heard like, some people talking about it, but I think that definitely helped more people realize the issues with it. Um, Rice, would you like to read it? I can read it. Um, okay, I mean, I can read it. I use Black Dia all the time. Oh yeah. Okay. <laughs> Black Dragon Height has slightly less magic and range defense, higher melee defense than Carol. Is that that? Then Carol's Black Dragon Height is considered fairly cheap 
for the protection it offers. How about it is cheap? <laughs> the reduction of the defense stats will put Black Dragon High in line with his value and other range armor. The reduction of defense stats. Can we oh, get some okay. more info or like? Um, oh, yeah, they didn't even say. Yeah, yeah, they didn't even say how much less, but um. We've added but, the Black DI to the discuss section. Oh, what are you talking about? Oh, we're just gonna lower it. Yeah. Oh, so <laughs> the difference with Carol's. The difference with Carol's uh, obviously is the defense requirement, but um, the Carol's top uh, is actually still about twenty magic defense higher than the D D high body, but the chaps. And the Carol skirt, they're like very similar. They're they're, they're almost they're very very close stats. So that yeah, it's um for a forty defense armor, I, I guess it's pretty pretty insane. You know what I've been seeing a lot now is people TBing and dehide, and it works. Yeah, I mean if you're wearing like melee armor, easy. No, I mean, melee armor makes you so. I'm not yeah. wearing melee armor. <laughs> I, like, you, you'll see it a lot on Bounty Hunter. I know I'll TB people while I'm wearing black dehyde, whatever. Yeah, what are the chances like, though, you know, from, uh... Oh, like... dude, it happens so often, it yeah, annoys yeah, me. I'll splash a few times, yeah. who cares? Yeah, okay. I was fighting a dude right, in red just, dehyde. Just the, point, the point you're saying is, I just spam enough times, it'll work anyway. <laughs> no, it was the first trial. So, no, second try, sorry. I remember I was uh, braiding near Rev Caves, and I was on my 87 staff of the day, ghostly. Guy has a myth fucking shield on, no amulet, red dehyde. Splashes once. I'm like, bitch, you know, what the fuck? I'm TV'd. And I splash four times on him trying to land a freeze. <laughs> yeah, dude, this game can be so. Like, when it comes to PKing, it, it, RNG can be so stupid. It's not like, RNG, it's a stupid. magic defense, is like a defense level oh. in itself. That's why. Yeah, yeah, magic level is defensively. Yeah, but it's still, mm -hmm. it's still governed by RNG. It, well, yeah, of course, stupid. everything's governed yeah, by RNG. But once they put these black defense uh, nerfs in, right? Black dehyde, yeah. sorry. Uh, the magic levels on people are still gonna, <laughs> god damn it, they're still going to be insanely overpowered. Like I, I'll splash on full rune. That shouldn't. Yeah, it's true. It happens all the time. If you have negative magic defense, you should not get splashed on. There needs to be a way they can come up with like a middle ground. Yeah, the the thing with black dehyde is like the melee stats are dookie but the magic stat is still really good but um it, it, it would it would be really weird that they change it all the way across the board for pk and for P pvm because like the pvm side like the d height is pretty standard at the way it is now and i i would love for them to be able to create like different stats for different areas for the same armor, but obviously they, they said uh, something like engine work, uh, so they can't do that right now. But I feel like they really should have the ability to do that because it would solve a lot of different problems. You know, Black D has just an example, right? Right. Like, like in PvP, right, it would its stats would go down to the appropriate level, and then in like outside of PvP, uh, PvP it would just be at regular, right? Like so it'd be amazing if you could have that because then it doesn't like mess up mess around with a big another side of the game where its stats are actually pretty normal and standard. so kind of like how you can use the the spec orb and like outside of the wilderness yeah like uh, you know how they like did the trident one or like the blowpipe one right if, yeah. if it's in pvp it it's speed changes but like i get it i guess the engine allows speed changes but it doesn't allow stat changes oh okay. uh, yeah i guess but yeah they need to work on that though that would be amazing because Cause then I think everyone would be on board with this change. Cause then PVMers, you know, wouldn't give a shit. Cause it doesn't change how that works. I think well, like some PV, <laughs> yeah, I think some PVMers, you know, the really shit ones, like the really. You know, <clears> hey, ones, hey, you, you need to calm down over here. All right, yeah. we call ourselves the incompetent, but don't worry about it. What are you saying? Yeah, yeah, but it's like really casual. I, I would be completely okay. <laughs> I with kill that, goblins. Right? Yeah, I'd be completely okay with that if there was a way for Black Dehyde stats to change. Specifically, you know, in the, in the woman. Well, yeah, but like I said, like after the black DI yeah. gets nerfed, I feel like it's more of a magic defense problem, right? If I'm splashing on full rune, they're not wearing black D high. They're wearing full rune. If I'm well, splashing on if somebody you have with black D high, I mean, if you have rune, you're definitely gonna get, you know, like hit more often. That's that's just a fact, right? I splashed but... eleven times on full rune. TV. Really? Yeah, I remember. I was I counting. Mean, I was I like, chat, let's count me. together. One, two. I'm like, holy shit, 11? Uh, okay, but how many times has that happened, though? A couple yeah, times. In all the... A couple how times. Couple, couple so, times. pretty yeah, much... Exactly, though. That's rare. That's, but that's, that's, rare. that's the thing. Multiple splashes, but then you'll get these guys yeah. who have negative magic defense, 
and they're about to escape. And you're thinking, okay, this should be an insta freeze, right? And it's not even like a gamble. And then, boop, oh, there's yeah, a splash. Yeah, XP. That's, just the, that's just the RNG factor, bro. Like, it's like saying, you know, for example, you have like a 10%, like, you, you, let's say you have like an 80% chance to land it, right? You just basically had a 20% chance to miss, and you just did, you got really lucky at missing 20%, like 10 times. Happens, but it's like man, negative yeah. bonuses though. That shouldn't be like eighty percent. It should be like ninety five percent chance or ninety nine percent chance. Yeah, I mean it's chance. just the way. It's just the way the. It's that magic defense accuracy. on your level. Yeah, it's just the magic accuracy calculation works in this game. It's really weird. Yeah. But that's... but yeah, it's just it, it. It's like if you're saying if your point is should should people wearing stuff like full rune just never have the ability to to tank those? That I mean that's another issue altogether. I don't know. That's that's the thing. I don't know what they can do to solve these things. But my issue is more of, it's not even the full rune. It's the aspect that your your that mage you level. No, it's just your mage level is your defense. That's kind of it is. insane because these peers will have like ninety mage and. Yeah, they, they, it's about thirty percent. Their. Uh, I thought magic. it was about seventy percent, and then thirty is their defense. Uh, armor. I think armor. Armor is seventy percent. The magic level. I mean, it's still sizable. I mean, that's still yeah. a third of your. So that's what I'm saying. Like. Hey, but, uh, I mean, it'd be also, nice to see something updated. Mystic. Yeah, you can also use your prayers too, like yeah. you know, like Mystic Might or Augury. That also gives magic percent. Mm -hmm. So, like, just Mystic Might will give you an extra fifteen percent magic defense. So, so I, what I've been a lot of things <laughs> that you can stack. seeing as well is that people will braid without a staff and they'll slap ass. Right? They won't have a staff. They won't have a switch, and they'll hit every freeze, and it's unpredictable. And I'm wondering if there's a way where we could have, if you have a staff equipped, you're more likely to catch freezes, right? It would just, um, other MMOs, you gotta have like a wand equipped to use spells. Something like that may be added into the game. Yeah, like an innate uh, ability that staffs or wands have. Yeah. You know? I mean, it makes sense, because like, you, you can really argue like in terms of immersion, right? Having a staff would certainly should increase your action. Yes, we're using the spell. Mm -hmm. Agreed. I mean, that's that's up to Jack. It'd be more I skillful. Um, no, yeah. no, it's just something yeah, I've come more, up with. And yeah, also, bring uh, more switches. Yeah, yeah, it, yeah, bring more risk too, right? Exactly. Mm -hmm. It was kind of in every area a bonus, right? <laughs> Promote skill, but what risk. What about people that just bring stuff like water staff? Then we kill them. <laughs> Fuck those guys. If you're buying mm -hmm. your staff from the general store, you fucking die, all right? That's what I'm saying, baby. <laughs> Murder them. Make their bond membership higher. All the shit you need to do, just take them out of the game. If you're wielding a water staff out in the wild, what's wrong with you? Nah. Yeah, I mean, so uh, my point, I guess, is that would it would it be better that the only the higher quality staffs get like that accuracy boost if you were to? They could they could tier it. They could tier it. Like it's almost right, like, so like uh, magic bonus damage, staff. but it'd be another percentage, right? Uh, yeah, so it'd be like you're saying, like, oh, battle staff or higher may have the ability. It'd be like an increase on accuracy overall if you will the staff. It'd be like another percentage. I don't know. I, the thing yeah, is, it could get too staffs? strong. Battle staff. Yeah, what about, what about that? Still, still no. Sure. A a yeah, ancient, there we go. We'll start with ancient staffs. That's when we'll start yeah, going minimum, like this. Minimum, right? minimum, Aram staff, Kodai, fucking all that stuff. Yeah, okay. Yeah, okay. I mean, I'm not a peak care, but I feel like that sounds cool. I mean, for PKing, like strictly for PK. Yeah, yeah. I, I just say, I just hate to see those people who don't I think, switch I think at all and will kill. That, you know? That's what I I'm saying. It, it shouldn't be that hard that. if they come up with. Mine's probably not well, too reasonable, can, but if they come they up with something. Code how blowpipe speed changes. Maybe that is similar to how you could increase the. Uh, Accuracy, but not like number, number wise, not like a physical addition to the stat, but like an ability, so to say, right? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> so how would you like? How would you add it, right? What would the accuracy like? Just just a numerical number in your stats, or like a special thing? In my brain, there's a marble rolling around, and I just had that idea floating. Now it's gone. That's all I got for you. It's a, <laughs> it's a, right. Yeah, just something to flesh out, I guess. Something to flesh out. It's like one ramp, and it's just kind of rolling sideways. That's all. Sorry, man. Yeah, it has potential, bro. Let's just say I would say it has. Potential. Thank you, thank you. All the J mods watching, mod mart. Oh, sorry, mod mad K. R.I.P. <laughs> yeah, we suggested on his Twitch. He's streaming. 
She's not. She doesn't work for Jagex anymore, dude. I know, but he's still got the hustle, bro. You get he, that. he can get that work. Yeah, he, he can probably literally like just walk through Jagex AQ doors to this day. People still be like, hey, you know. Of course, like, he's like a father figure of Jagex. Yeah, dude. He's, he's like the godfather, dude. Like. <laughs> have you seen his picture he put on he's in suit he does look like the godfather yeah. he's suited up let me see if i can find it did you see him flaming like that on twitter <laughs> uh -huh. your one? mom came over <laughs> fucking amazing <laughs> oh yeah i saw that one good it was so good jesus christ oh wait what the <laughs> fuck is it <laughs> It's isn't him, isn't it? It's not the right one. It's fake. It's I already fake. know I give up. I tried. Dude, there's, there's 36 followers <laughs> on that. <laughs> I fucking tried, dude. I'll, I'll, I'm hey, gonna say it was like you, real Matt K now. While, yeah, while you do your thing, I'll, I'll find it for you, okay? All right. I'll, I'll read the Bulwark stuff here. Uh, when the Bulwark was released, it was looking to fill a niche, 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 like quiche but niche, in PVM to enhance a tanker's ability to help them team when group bossing. I've never seen someone actually use a bulwark to tank in anything. Uh, as time has gone on, it's clear that shield has few limited uses outside of aiding in wilderness protection. <laughs> this isn't a problem in itself. However, in its current form, it gives the players high invulnerability when combined with certain equipment protections. I, I haven't killed a guy naked with a bulwark one time. It's just insane. We'd like to discuss any ideas. Blah, blah, blah. Okay. So. Oh, oh sorry. All right, here's the link. Yeah, look at him suited up, by the way. Look at this man. Oh, what an absolute legend. Jesus Christ. Is it, there's some shading qualities going on with his side of the face. But other than that, dude, looking nice. Yeah, he's more of a graph guy, not a Photoshop. <laughs> That's badass, dude. Well, those are some nice stats. Right? Especially yeah. Twitter, man. That thing's going in. Right? Uh... So yeah, it looks like they're just kind of asking for ideas for the bulwark. They're not really coming up with any itself. They're just kind of really admitting, yep, yeah, we fucked up. Change it, please. So, I think they're just really scared because of the updates they did in October. A lot of people are just like, this was awful. You should have pulled them. And then if they like pulled them, they wouldn't have passed. So they want to like discuss it with people first. Make sure like the community won't freak out over it, but right. good luck with that. The sneaky polling, where it's like, oh yeah, it's our fifth time putting this in the polls, because, well, just the community might want it. Uh-huh. Yeah, sure, dude. If the community <laughs> wants it. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck me. Um, uh, all they're saying is they want to reduce his effectiveness, but uh, yeah, what you said you said it would be cool if um, you made it so that people can't run. Yeah, and it still needs to be nerfed defense-wise, but if you couldn't run with it on, you could still walk away from chins, tank a little bit longer, cut more freeze hits, uh, stuff like that. It would definitely kind of balance it out. Yeah. Yeah, the Vince <laughs> is insane. Uh. Let's open this up, huh? Um, all right, open link. Ah, let's open it a new thing. Let me copy-paste it. So, Mod Matt K is uh, acting like Wendy's now, so... <laughs> <laughs> so it says, I scrub up pretty well, wish me luck on my interview. And he said, uh, you make a lot of money from Jagex at your house, stinks of piss and dusty ass cooches. Cooch couches? Couches? Is that cooches? Couches. Couches. Is that couches? I thought this said cooches. <laughs> I'm like, that's fucking gross. Fuck. I mean, do you see a couch in the picture or do you see a cooch? Uh, both. <laughs> well, it's the smell that counts, right? And he said, yeah, that's because your mom stayed <laughs> <laughs> I swear to God, Soup and DVS only exist on Twitter to post this shit on other people's tweets, dude. I swear to fucking God. <laughs> yeah, dude. They're, they're just the inhabitants of Twitter, bro. They, they literally live. MMK on some shit. Oh, man. By the way, I got it. Oh, Oh, that SpongeBob one was good. Oh, good. oh sorry, it's over. I just, it's over. It's we over. It's <laughs> but speaking of Twitter, um, and I'll bring up Amenity again because I feel like he's a pretty. He brings up a lot of fair points. Well, he's been finding ways to see how people AHK and do certain things that aren't that shouldn't be allowed but can't be caught. He's like, okay, this is noticeable. That's noticeable. So he sends it to Mod Weef on Twitter, right? And then Mod oh. Weef goes. <laughs> 
<laughs> he goes, maybe you're just bad at PKing. <laughs> like god damn dude like not only did you just shit on all this whole man's career you just didn't even help fix the problem and i can kind of see where mod weep's coming from in a way because he probably deals with that shit a lot but yeah he's probably just like out of patience right he said he couldn't detect it or he like didn't see any traces of it yeah because it's not detectable and they can't admit that right if they admitted that then more people do it over the last week some people are getting banned for ahk i guess you know, some people but dumb as hell, right? But, Finally, but after the, like a year of age games. <laughs> but the real question is, is that did they get banned because the system detected it, or did they get banned because somebody reported them? I and don't know, then, and I don't you know. know I've personally sent in a bunch of tip-off it. emails. Like me and other people have gotten like a list of people with proof of the age gang, and like nothing happened. Yeah, yeah. yeah. there's no age kers in Bounty Hunter that will just gmall rush your ass and walk away. And they are out there to this day, just roaming the wild, one ticking people for full HP. Fun! Ah, but no, we're just bad at PKing, apparently. Thanks, Weave. And some of them sell scripts, and yeah, whatever. Yeah. Record themselves using it, no big deal. <laughs> I've seen <laughs> that shit, man. How, how yeah, could they not detect it? Stream themselves using HK. There was this guy on Twitch, I won't say his name. He was streaming himself on like five different accounts using HK to risk fight every like almost every single day for like eight months, and he didn't oh get God. banned until he lifted up his hands and was like, "I can PK like this." And his character like so it was like HK and a script. There was also like a script because HK doesn't just play without you pressing anything. How much but, like, money that's did he the make? Set of what he was like cheating to, and he didn't get caught until he was mass reported. Oh my lord! And, like, yeah, man, cool they get a lot of reports. Like that's horrifying. That's disgusting. And then it's to the point where if someone kills you, you're like, oh, they were probably AHK. Hey, there is a nice side of it. I've been called an AHK a couple times, dude, and it feels pretty goddamn good. All right. You're like, I'm, I'm actually good. I AHK when I like. I did a 50 spec, and I was like, yeah, dude, that was totally HK right there. Yeah. HK rigged my numbers. <laughs> On one of my, um, one of my videos, someone's like, you can see his inventory overlay, do some weird shit on this number. I'm like, man, shut up. <laughs> Those are called F keys, you weirdo. It's like, he didn't click on his inventory, uh, something sketchy's going on here. It's like, get, go back to your woodcutting guild, all right? Don't... People are like, you... You can't even see yourself click on the spec bar. It's like, that, yeah, because I use F keys. I don't, like, manually shift over, like. <laughs> Let me just cash drag my mouse to the spec bar. <laughs> what a god. What an absolute god. But I'm glad that something is starting to be done about it. And, uh, yeah, they're, like, trying to ban emblem farmers more often. Banning oh, boosters, god. raggers. A lot of raggers got banned this week, which is amazing. That's That's great, yes. They cleared, out, like, they cleared out V Square. They cleared out some DH raggers. Mm. There's like yeah, clans dedicated gotta, to ragging. Like a That's why the servers there. have been bad. They're probably hitting them off, getting all mad. I miss my ragging. <laughs> Roblox no likey. Oh fuck, dude! Every time a Runescape player gets angry, they DDoS the servers. I swear to God. Every time. Yeah. I mean, they got. They have to be proactive, though. They just gotta keep doing it, man. They just gotta keep banning those guys. Yeah. Like, oh oh god Stop you are not it. welcome here now it's all <laughs> fucked what have you done <laughs> Yo. i thought it mad cow broke it again Racy, what we'll do all right we'll just keep your little vacation picture going all right and then you just turn your webcam off oh, man <laughs> Can't, dude recycled content right there Jesus uh, hell yeah bro i wanted Come to usable memes Best shy memes. wanted to put a foot there i don't whoa I don't, yeah he already oh, has a foot there Oh god, how do I do this now? Okay. Alright. <laughs> oh god, it's for me, right? Timberland. <laughs> Hell yeah, is that, is that hey, a shoe company? Uh, oh. Is that a shoe? I don't, I don't... That's a Wait, you've not, you've not heard of Timberland? Dude, I, the only reason Isn't that the I shoe like... Kanye wears? No? <laughs> Timberland, Timberland's really expensive, okay? But, just for the record, there's like an outlet where I live, where I buy these shirts for like five quid, which is like seven bucks a shirt, instead of like thirty. So that's why I wear a lot of Timberland. It's not because I've got a lot of money. It's because it's dirt cheap. Hey. And I fucking like it. I like yeah, the flex. Convenient. I like the flex. That's you know where I get one. my white tees? Walmart. All right? Nice. They come Walmart. in a 10-pack. <laughs> yeah. I've never heard of Wild before. Wild Mart. Like Primark or... Walmart yeah, there's or... Primark over here, too. It's cheap They as come well. in a 10-pack, baby. Primark? All right? Yeah, yeah Primark. 
All of my gym, all of my gym t-shirts are from uh, Primark because they're like two pounds a shirt. It's like, yeah. Yeah, who cares? And they're gonna get disgusted anyways. But if yeah. you put them in the wash, man, you can't wear them again. It's they dead. shrink so much. <laughs> it's like a one-time use. <laughs> yeah, it's just you gotta make it last a week, and it's worth it. That is <laughs> fucking <laughs> nasty. That is gross, dude. <laughs> oh, oh man. So I mean, it's gym, bro. It's supposed to be nasty. Rakesy, right, so we were just talking about how they're actually going to be buffing Dehyde, which is cool. Um, Lies. <laughs> and the crystal shield, dude. All that's going to get a buff. Enough. Yeah. No. They're... But no, we covered a lot. We covered the Gmall rework. Uh, apparently, there's going to be a Black Dehyde rework, but there's not much out. And there's going to be. Well, they're asking for bulwark suggestions. Do you have any, by the way? Mine was that if you're wielding it in the wild, you have to walk. Is it that OP? Like I've never really had to deal with it. Is it that OP? Uh yeah, yeah. You'll you'll have like eight people fighting one dude with a bulwark dehyde, and he'll just type start typing shit while tanking in rev caves. Doesn't care. No no prayer switches. Nothing. Just easy nerds wow. get good losers. I swear every night at revs, there's always like at least ten of those guys talking mad shit while trying to just. Nothing you can do. Like, yeah, but is that that big of an issue? Because you can still kill people with the bulwark, and to me, it just sounds like that kind of evens out the one v eight scenario. Like, that's the only thing which can counter having eight people on you at once. Well, that's not the only reason why it's getting nerfed. People use it at chins. People use it uh, everywhere. To be honest, doing Wildy Slayer, Callisto save spots. They'll just pop that bad boy off and just start typing shit. Because if it's a solo, I've only. I've only killed a couple people that had a bulwark solo. Like it's, y y they have to be a new type of bad to die with a bulwark, yeah, or just very unlucky. It's got crazy high stats. I don't know. It, it doesn't have the special effect it has against monsters, does it? So it does on defensive. Not in PvP. I'm yeah, pretty sure it doesn't in PvP. What they what they said That'd actually is PvP. um, the yeah. bulwark was supposed to fill a niche in PvM. But instead, it has limited uses in PVM and has been more of yeah. a <laughs> more of a increasing risk in PvP. And they want to try to uh, tackle that because I mean, it wouldn't be up here if people didn't complain, right? Because Jagex, yeah. they're not going to just throw things up here. This is all because people complain, 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 complain. Maybe I'm not sure what that's you know, but most is just people complaining and they're trying to deal with this shit. So that's why it's they up got here. Some, dude, there's some controversial items on that screen. Jesus. Oh, yeah. you got everything on there. What's, oh, yeah. it, what's it say about the Avernic Defender? What's wrong with that? Uh, we what haven't gone around? to that, actually. Want me to read it? Or do you want to read it? I can't read. No, no. <laughs> that's fine. YouTubers don't need to read, dude. They just need to make content. Uh, just make up words on the spot. It feels good. <laughs> it sounds like that, you make I, the up screen, some of the these words. <laughs> hey, shut up, man. <laughs> Screen's too small. I can't. It's too small. All right. All right. Uh, You're going to have to read. The Avernic Defender currently drops 1 mil on PvP death, but costs 1 mil to repair at Purdue. So typically, they want it to be a gold sink. So they're going to make it so it only drops 75% of it. So 750k on death, and then you repair for 1 mil. So 250k loss per death. Pretty much a gold sink. I don't really have a problem with that. Yeah. Yeah, it's pretty annoying how like all gold sinks or most gold sinks are like in PvP. That is pretty much a huge gold PvP. sink. Potions, food, everything. Because if you get a yeah. kill and you, then you die, it just everything despawns. Like it's the biggest <laughs> fucking gold sink ever. I mean, there are gold sinks in PvM. It's just a case of you're more like PKers die way more than PvMers nowadays. Yeah. Cause... You know, PVMers I mean, you don't die. Calf, you pay 100k for that. You still gotta yeah, fix no, your stuff. It's just goal sinks, it, but yeah, it's not yeah, good. it's more unlikely it's gonna happen. I wonder how much GP has been lost for despawning <laughs> items. That'd be really cool to know. Uh, not as much as you used to. <laughs> just In fact, you know. I mean, oh, yeah, brief, you know, one hour dead time, but you can't have. <laughs> but I'm talking like in the wild though. Or, like if you just oh, die wild. and it's just gone, right? But I guess even there's then you could run looters. back, right? Yeah, there's so many looters that. Uh, you ain't all your shit. That's true, that's true. But yeah, we cover most of the controversial shit there, Rakesy. Well, the cape, what is that? <laughs> what about the MBU god capes? Alright. Alright, they added it to the yeah, be yeah, discussed yeah, here. <clears throat> oh, you're not a king. You are? <laughs> hey, I'm doing my podcast. Get out the uh, shop. Hurry up. <laughs> <was being>, <laughs> just grab a titty, dude? Nice. No, 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 I can't get it until... Um... I'll tell you later, mate. It's a bit complicated. 
Just have him right. on, dude. I'll just put up another Thank webcam spot. I got it, dude. <laughs> yeah, it's like, like, you know, another... Hey! Hey! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, when we were getting the stream started, it took me like 20 minutes. Oh, it was... <laughs> It was a disgusting. We had it and then something went wrong. <laughs> oh wait, are we streaming right now? Yeah, yeah. dude, we're on Chunks Twitch. Oh yeah. <laughs> All right. So What's your obsession with Chunk, dude? Like, you love that guy. Dude. I think you just like saying Chunk. Who doesn't, man? Yeah. My okay. So first, I used to live near him, so we've hung out, right? And then, dude, he is Aww. literally the funniest trash be care. I know, man. All right, he is just so bad but so funny. I love his content. Uh, but also, yeah, my awesome. uncle used to pick on all my fat friends. Have you ever seen the Goonies? Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, of course. Yeah. yeah, so every time I'd have like a slightly overweight friend, he would make them go into the yard. He wouldn't let them in. He'd shout through the window, What's up, Chunk? Do the truffle shuffle. And then my friend would be like, because he hasn't seen the Goonies, like, what do you what do you mean? He goes and he lifts up his shirt and just starts shaking it. And he's like, Do this! And he would not let him in. So with tears in his eyes, my friend is just doing the truffle shuffle in the yard. And it is, oh, it's disturbing. It's actually a disturbing memory. So, so, so ever since then, you've admired Chunk. Yes. All of this led up to me being Chunk. If that answers your question, there, Rixie. Feels better. Okay. Shall I, shall I continue that? Um, yes. So imbued god capes and other untradables. One of the most commonly questioned subjects as a result of this blog is that the imbued god capes are always lost on dev, but only in PvP. Uh, the capes were to be lost no matter what, which was originally pulled. However, due to the way the dev system works, it's overridden. We would like to discuss what we should do moving forward. This could be added to the Purdue as usable in pre-20 wild or make an item lost in PvM situation. So pretty much, you can keep the cape below 20 or every it's all lost. They want to go for one or the other. At least keep it consistent. Yeah, I'd say under 20. But then again, I don't know, because Deep Wildy uh, Wilderness Arena 2, or what's it called, Major Arena 2, that's actually mm-hmm. Wildy content, right? You'll run into people out yeah. there. So making people do that content to get the Wildy active is necessary. And if it was pulled to always be lost, like... So, what do you guys, know, what do you guys think? Them. Yeah, I'm with, I'm with Shy. Well, Not yeah, I mean, content, the but... God Cape is uh, kind of a bitch to get back, but it is also... Dude, you can off. get 21 an hour, all right? I made the vid. 21 an hour, mate. Um, yeah, I mean, we're, I we're so. always talking about we don't want it to become an easy scape. Yeah, you should, I just you should, didn't... You should have to get your God Cape back. Plus, yeah, on top of that, it makes like, the wilderness slightly more I'll be, I'll be honest with you, like, the Major Arena 2 is a terrible update. <laughs> I Damn! Feel like it, should be a, it should have been a much better uh, uh, content. You know that you have to go through to get the major arena two cape, because like if you have to fucking slave in the inferno for an inferno cape that gives you one extra damage, why doesn't major arena two have kind of a? a I mean, it doesn't have to be as difficult. Well, it comes with risk, though, right? It? it comes with risk. What, but like, it's like there's no almost no risk. You know what I mean? Ta- I went out there DH bombing, which is when you get really low of DH, and I just yeah, run into him. I mean, I've got a cape multiple times. It's not that much of a risk. You just like maybe lose like a stamina pod and. Mm, I get, yeah, I guess if you die, you don't lose too much. But yeah, exactly, it's like I I felt like because like you know how Major Arena one is like you know OG content, same with Fight Case OG content, and then they they racked it up to a modern level, right? With, the, with their with their uh, new successor, we have Inferno. But then Major Arena two is just like shit. It's literally just garbage. You know, three demons <laughs> randomly Christ. placed in the wilderness. A lot of artists made those demons, damn it. Repo that shit. I mean, I see I see what you're saying, but then, like, when yeah. you look at the best in slot for range, it's like, firstly, it's locked behind just quests. Like, the first quest isn't hard to do, and the second quest is it's a little bit much more better, difficult. Much better, much better. Yeah, I mean, it's I, much better than freaking uh, Demon Slayer 2. Like, I mean, it, 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 yeah. it is It is definitely harder to get the Ava's Assembler than what it is to get the Mage uh, Arena 2 yeah, cape. exactly. I don't know. I, I do see what you're saying, though. Yeah, it's Mage just Arena kind of annoying. Is, yeah. It doesn't take long, though. Like, I did it on my account, which was, like, level 50 uh, in one inventory. Like, killed yeah. all three of Like, it really isn't difficult at all. I didn't yeah, it have isn't, charge. It isn't. That's what, exactly. Do you it's think they don't want to make content difficult in the wild they just want people out there right that's kind of the thing well to be but fair Major that's true. isn't really a pvp specific yeah concept. it is most most people get the capes 
to either PK or to PK in the wild. Yeah. PVM, PV, yeah. they do it once. PKers do it a lot of times. Like they're kind of yeah, like crack so. addicts, you know. They're always hitting the liquor store, you know. <laughs> well, so if they lost a, on death all the time, it'd be like. I, I mean, like I, I, that's true. Yeah. That is true. A lot more blood runs to PK, so I might be behind <laughs> that. I mean, it's it's just kind of stupid that they even made it. Like, if you die with it, it disappears. It should have just been a payment. Like, because like, why would they? Why does the Inferno kid if you die with it? You just pay for it back. Well, because it's a, an addition onto um, wilderness Very content, though, right? I don't know. The Major Arena Two doesn't really fit too well as a PvP specific content. Yeah. Just because it happens to be in PvP that you get it doesn't, you know what I mean? It's like, that doesn't justify necessarily anything. I'm, I'm sure they could it's make it harder. It's not specifically right? a PvP item, right? It's, it's not designed exactly for you to use for PvP. So, but yeah, I, I, I don't know. It's just it's just weird. Like, Major Media 2, bro, they need to rework that shit, I'll be honest. What do you want them like, to change, bro? To make, make it, it actually PvP. challenging so that, like, you have to, you know, do, like, put in the effort to get the cape and then you can use it and actually like you risk it you can pay money to get it back um just didn't they make it easier that was the they, yeah they made it even easier with uh with their update <laughs> well, it was like still pretty easy but then they uh once they did the rework with like the they changed like the graphics and like gave them uh, abilities and stuff it became actually even easier yeah because once was... you figure out their mechanic it, they were just mechanic you just stand there and flame them that's well, it they, there's yeah, no they, they have like different mechanics or something. yeah they, they, they have some but it, it doesn't really matter you just like recoil them you just mage them right and they're dead mm -hmm. yeah so it's really easy i remember it's when they easy. first came out you could just t-bow them <laughs> really yeah, yeah, yeah. that was a, that was a thing yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, wow. You can like four salt. They nerfed two bow against them. <laughs> they didn't. They didn't even think about it. That's why they're like, "Oops, you know, let's fix that." That's disgusting. <laughs> that is disgusting. <laughs> right. So I, I am really annoyed. I've missed this entire thing. Like, were you guys close to wrapping up? No, not even uh, close, dude. We're gonna go uh, for two more know. hours, right, Shite? We have another update. Uh, okay. yeah. <laughs> After that. Oh, I think the second Probably. part was the untradeables. Did yeah. we talk it about says, LMS? Oh, sorry. What? Oh, sorry. There's just one more part of this. Okay, yeah, go for it. Well, while on the topic of fairness between PvP and PvM, a discussion arose about how PvPers are expected to pay to repair their untradeables for losing them below 20 wilderness. However, in PvM, they can't break and can just be reclaimed or kept on death. The idea has been battled around the team, and ultimately, we want to open up the discussion to you all. There's little risk. There's little risk when PVMing outside an instance anymore, so we would like to have a discussion on whether the items Purdue can repair should be required to be repaired regardless of location, but still loss over 20 wilderness. Yeah, that'd I think be that's fun. fair. Yay. I think that's fair, yeah, yeah. personally. Because, like, I mean, ultimately, the way PVM works now is that at some point, they're going to have to make uh, death penalties universal throughout all PVM, as in you have to pay if you die. And, like, how they decided tier that like you know how much you lose it, that's up to them you know what i mean that, that's a huge talk that eventually is gonna have to be talked about because mm -hmm. right now pvm is so babied you know it's I'm so safe you're caught yeah it's so safe yeah it's ridiculously safe like 90 percent of your deaths in pvm maybe even more doesn't involve anything you, there's no no risk whatsoever you just run back and get your stuff. Who cares? Yeah, it's a, it's a, a so, risk yeah. of Jad. Someone uh, lost their hardcore status in the Jad yeah. cave. That's yeah, because of, of a glitch, you know, that they thought they fixed a while ago. But, and they, I don't think yeah. he got his shit back, did he? He didn't get his status back. No. no. They, they can't. They, they can't. can't. Jag is just like, let me take a big squat on your face. Thank you for the multiple $11 payments, work. and I'm done. Yeah. You know, gotta yeah. love it. Gotta love it. That's well, fantastic. Was he a high level uh, hardcore? hardcore? Yeah, it's gotta be a couple hundred hours. Like mid mid level, pretty, you know, still a lot of hours. So well, unfortunate. <laughs> to be fair, to be fair, to, to Jad on a decent account, he probably deserves to lose his status. I'm Damn. just saying it, bruh. Throw it out there, bruh. He deserves to lose bruh. it. Who dies to Jad? Who dies to Jad on a half decent account? That man over here, salty as hell, just, and you just gave him the bro, last shit to since, break his dude, mind. Ever since he got the Inferno cape, you know, it's like it's not the same anymore. <laughs> Those filthy hardcores have been safe for far too long. It should be a permanent <laughs> loss of status if you die to Jad. 100%. Yeah, that'd be crazy, dude. Honestly. That'd be crazy. I'd be it down should, for that. You, 
If you die to Jad, you should just be logged out of your account and you can never log back in. Yeah. Whoa, uh, relax. If you, like, <laughs> we were talking about uh, staffs, right? You know how you bring a staff in the wild to mage? And, you know, Rice is like, what if you bring a water staff? I'm like, well, you should be kicked from the game and die. So I'm with you there, Rexy. Um, just let's get these guys out of the game. Yeah, just unskull bounty hunter, die. <laughs> staff, gone. die. Jad, die. Just all of this <laughs> shit, just die. That'd be fantastic. Uh, Did we talk about the LMS updates last time? Because there's a lot no, to delve into. We didn't talk about any PvP stuff in the last Well, we talked about this top area, I remember, right? The Max Cape, and I remember talking about that. Uh, I felt like there was a there was an original version of this. Yeah, but we I don't think we I don't know if we covered LMS. So yeah, I mean we should do it quick because I feel like LMS. Is Whoa, whoa, what's the what's the rush there, Rice? What is the rush here, Yo, sir? We got another update, bro. Psh, ain't no one care about that update. This is look at this, beautiful, okay, absolutely all right, beautiful. Good. All right, <clears throat> Mod Rock with the help of Mod Maz, I don't know some of these mods have been toiling away and developing Last Man Standing into a different type of minigame. Wasn't it um, Mod uh, Gambit? Know. I thought it was Gambit that was on LMS. No, it's Mod Rock then. Okay, and Mod Rock. Yeah, okay, I thought. Thing was Bounty Hunter rework. Oh, my bad. Sorry. Yeah, I've been seeing Mod Rock posts. Okay. Um, this section we've got... Okay, blah, blah, blah. When Last Man Standing arrived in August 2016, it arrived with a lot of hype and then ended insanely fast. The minigame only peaked when high-stake weekends were running over because people who could prayer flick made billions of GP. But with no real <laughs> rewards for playing, there was no reason for PvPers to play anymore. In short, they wanted a minigame, but it didn't last long. So... Here are the changes for what behind the link. Oh, this is it right here. My bad. Sorry, I clicked on another thing. This looks thing. really good. This looks fun. Like this looks like um, oh, I'm excited. Creation fun. Like it actually yeah. looks fun. Right. Apparently, you start out with a bread set. There's unlimited prayers. You can't smite, and instead of looting chests, you just uh, you get kills. Right. And the kills turn into keys that you can turn into items. If you kill somebody when there's only five people left, you get an immense key or an insane key that could turn into like dragon claws, AGS. Very excited. Oh, dude, this sounds so fun. Dude, 24 hour when this comes out, baby. All of us, even Rice. All right, let's do it. All of us. Uh -huh. when, when is this coming out? Is is this coming out soon? Uh, probably 2020. I don't think he wants to give a date. <laughs> oh, they made prayer unlimited. Well, I can't prayer flick anymore. Shit. That's the whole point, man. Uh -huh. It's all about being skillful, baby. I'm just kidding. All right. I don't, really, I don't really mind. That's fine. Starting equipment's hey, pretty badass. I don't know what's up with people thinking that rune legs are like the way though. Like nobody brids with rune legs, but I guess for starting, it's not bad. I, yeah, I mean, uh, I I get a black how to tank some barrages, right? <laughs> you got dragon yeah, bolt ease, <laughs> <laughs> dude. The dragon bolt e start off just 60, uh, okay. 60. I feel like the really starting it. setup is so p though. Holy shit, I think it's pretty strong, dude. Dude, that looks fun. Like that looks like right. I, so I, that's... I, 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 Let's That's like a I'm glass honest. cannon. Like you've got a lot of damage potential, but you've also you're quite squished because you're in twenty defense mystic. Like, right. You can, you can take a decent DBS chunk. This is gonna be that where the like gods of PKing come out, right? Because everyone's gonna be at the same skill. Every same gear, same everything. It's not gonna be like you're wielding you know, an Ellie. Like it's gonna be leveled. They could downgrade it a little bit though, man. And some of this stuff is still pretty strong to start mm. off, dude. The games are gonna be so fast. It's like. I don't know. Yeah, if you guys fast and fun. That's what I. That's what I, I like. To I don't like do. the I, I spirit like, shield. I don't like the spirit shield. Yeah, they got they got some crazy shit going on, like barrels gloves, like the zerker ring. You know. I like the boots. That's my favorite part. <laughs> you know, like I the mean, boots. They, there, you know, that's as much as gets. Whatever. They could always change it. Like if people yeah, yeah, don't like, it, like it, they can downgrade the gear, or maybe yeah, have like different down. options. You can go in at different. Know, different gear wrecks. I'd be sort of down like, like with this type of gear, dude. You can do a lot with that. I mean, I'm not big here, but like, like I use PK. it. Oh, sorry. Would PK like with this, like for this, if it doesn't cost some money, if it doesn't cost some supplies? Oh, so many noobs, so many noobs, it's and so active, so fun, you know. So they they kind of nailed it in every aspect to what was wrong with it, and they're going after the rewards as well. There's gonna be. Uh, I saw on Twitter. I'd pull it up if I had the post that there might be a negative XP lamp that you can get. One one time for 200 uh, negative XP, XP in any skill. Yeah. Uh, some recoloring animations possibly, new teleport unlocks. Uh, all, all, all sorts of really cool ideas that would bring people in the wild after they're Ooh, done with the all that. The negative LMS. XP thing, though, they got to be really careful with that shit. 
Yeah. Right. As I like, scroll they... down, I want to see these rewards. Uh, I don't think they're on there. Yeah, it it's right there. here. Let me let me oh, open this up on yeah. Twitter here. Yeah, they gotta be super careful. <laughs> good job, good job Shy. I got you. So tradable Guffix enchantment for a staff of the dead, because people want want that. Uh, wilderness only single spell runes. Fuck yes. So I think that means you could have like a TB rune, just for TB. Entangle rune yep. for brilliant right fucking brilliant that sounds good uh and then mm. they have untradeable stuff so scroll to take talk to purdue who charges 500k to bind one untradeable item so you can risk it past 20 fantastic Ooh. idea inferno yeah, caves yeah. full void devos imagine clack, clack. oh fantastic cosmetic armor set normally bought in demo mode so you can yeah you know and then okay it's negative 500 xp one per player that's what that is yeah, I feel like that could be nice for play. Okay, for so literally the or something or like fifty-one attack after you know they were reverting it and all that stuff. Right, that'd be pretty cool. So, are you only able to buy the lands once, forever, or you yes. can buy it once? I think so. That's one. what it looks like. Only one time, so people can't abuse it. Rice is thinking. I'm scared. Yeah, when they were uh, I'm just thinking to see like if that is gonna be like worth it because like literally the only incentive would be to go there one time well that's just you know you can get on your pier get that done real quick then pop on over and get some other shit yeah. right yeah. that a i fart? guess if the other it's like if the other stuff worth it uh, well that's it's just the starting right there's going to be like a yeah. cash prize and then points and uh overall if you're actually good at lms and actually good at pking you'll probably make make some money which would be nice Personally, it just looks fun. Yeah. I'm going to go for rank. Yeah, I, I feel I, like... I, oh, so, talking of rank, all I will say is I pray that they reset the current rank system and just yeah. wipe it and start fresh. Yeah, so um, bad. Yeah. Ross said that he was. Yeah, okay, and then Spark, awesome. Spark Mag actually tweeted under that, uh, hey, a lot of people have grinded these ranks. Why are you taking it away? Like... He's an it. Oh, uh, he was very. Oh, he was very oh mad. My God, I so, want to go crazy. Go crazy, I, dude. Get I, I it. Understand it where he's coming from, but they're like completely changing the game mode, so I understand why they would change it. Like if yeah. Bounty Hunter changed completely, and like I'm a pretty high rank, I would understand if they completely reset the ranks. Like I wouldn't like, even be upset. Not being funny, Spark Mac, but would you rather be rank one of a dead mini game, or be rank zero again and play in a mini game that's actually good and people want to play? Like, why would you even say that? It's such a stupid thing. Who gives a shit? He'd probably like, argue, well, but, but people... Plays it. Yeah, but people... He'd probably argue, like, well, people I grinded mean, for like, it, right? You could... Here, here's the deal. You could keep vintage high scores. You know what I'm saying? Like, like think... just for them to, like, have it. Just to, like, remember... Personally, this. I'd be so, fine if they wiped it. But, yeah, if people are gonna... Yeah. I mean, who's gonna be super angry about that? The, the five people playing Last Man Standing right now, prayer flicking and doing all sorts of dumb yeah. shit? I don't know. I, I, I everybody's mean, can, just got a problem with yeah. something, man. Like, yeah, like do, I said, but... would, would you rather be rank one of a dead mini game that nobody plays, or just be reset and play in a really cool mini game? Like, who cares, man? It's yeah, like who I cares if you're rank that, one of something dead? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, they can easily just make a vintage website for like those old, you know, pre-update like high scores. Just keep it there for you, like you can just screenshot right. it there you go keep it <laughs> screenshot it yeah, post it on, on twitter wall, on oh, your yeah. like, fridge <laughs> former so rank have one. It so, i get it they want to have it somewhere official sure they can make a little link that says oh, oh you know vintage old, old, old or pre, yeah old like previous scores. lms yeah yeah exactly like previous high scores or something and then boom there you go you have it but yeah he was uh, just, he was then, really then, salt on twitter when i saw it like he was really adamant yeah. about having those ranks stay so. Well, he did play a lot. Like I can see where he's coming was from. Was he ranked? I, I don't know if he was ranked though. Yeah, he played a shit ton. I remember he made videos on it. He, he's ranked two right now. Spark is mm -hmm. on last month's standing. Yeah. Jeez, just no one. Okay, that's probably why. Huh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But like, just give them the vintage high scores, like a you know separate page for that. Whatever. Just, yeah, know, I wouldn't little, mind. Or, yeah, I'm fine. just more excited about the new LMS. Yeah, and then you'll have like the new high scores, the high score that actually gets updated. I like don't Brit and I'm excited for those elements. Oh, I'm gonna find it. you. It's over, Shy. See ya. Yeah, just hunt me down. It's okay. <laughs> Put me out of my misery. <laughs> Yo, just just uh, make it so that we can do duels. <laughs> uh, duels, man. <laughs> so I'm gonna read out their. 25. 
duos? <laughs> yeah. That'd be bad. Dude, duos would be kind of cool. I'm going to read out their yeah. release plans here. Mm-hmm. As the design above would have to go through polling, like any content, we would like to outline our idea on how we'd see the changes coming into the main game. Firstly, a tournament world will be opened with the new design in place for people to try out and provide feedback. Smart. Mm-hmm. Very smart. This would require turning off LMS. Turn that shit off forever. Uh, turning off regular LMS should not be a problem. Turn that shit off, please. Uh, however, we'd like to use the music track that is obtained in LMS to be unlocked at the entrance to avoid you. I, mean, I don't think anyone cares about the music track too much, but I could yeah, be wrong. Fine. Yeah, but make it so that it's, anybody can just get by entrance. Like, it's so stupid people had to have to join a game. Right. Mm-hmm. Um, after what about feedback. The starting amount. Starting amount. What, what yeah, like the amount of people. Like, what would they change that? I, I don't back. know. I'm not sure. I think they're going like, to pull in the queue system, too, that we were talking about before, the queuing system. They might do that. Yeah, yeah. They really need to do that shit. That'd be bad. Ain't, ain't nobody trying to go there and then wait, like, 20 minutes. Or at least make the lobby fun, right? Like, have, put a tree in there so people can woodcut or some shit, you know? Yeah, like, other games have things that you can do in, like, the loading screen. Right. But, like... Practice switches. Like, uh, a queuing system's pretty easy, because you know how they have the minigames teleport? Mm-hmm. They could just structure something in the mini games teleport, right? So like when you click on the LMS section, they'll be like Q option, and then click Q, and then there'll be like a little number thing. Is like uh, this amount of people currently in queue waiting for this whole right you know, stuff like that. Yeah, it's, it's, they already have a mini game tab. You use it beside because like right now, literally mini games tab is literally just like a quick teleport to that play. That's all I use it for. Mm-hmm. That, that's it. Um, That'd be, that'd like be they, nice. They totally it wouldn't be a bad idea. Yeah. I'm excited to see they if they do have that. Um, okay, so nice. uh, after feedback has been pr- processed and any changes made, a second version of LMS will go into a tournament world. If no further changes are necessary, then the content will go to poll, fuck, and come into the game once passed. During the time, discussions on reward and how they should be obtained will be ongoing after the release of LMS coming into the game. Depending on the rewards and how they're unlocked, it may be possible to add tracking in before the reward shop release so players who have not played the minigame before the release do not feel like they have time wasted. What? Tracking ADCs. in... Yeah, was my internet being shit? No, yeah, you... I, uh, I think it's meant. I think it's meant. Did I? Yeah, we're back. We're okay. Back. Did yeah, you get... You're good now. You're I good. just read so much. Okay. I, I, I heard you say it all. Sweet. I was I, I was actually lost. I you, yeah. No, she didn't actually hear. She just doesn't. She's just being it. super. Hey, you know <laughs> All right, you know what? I've had enough of this shit. <laughs> <laughs> we get yeah, the gist of it. Let's it. just hope it passes, man, because this is gonna be great. Yeah, I it's like not the like... That, like putting in tournament worlds first. I feel like they should do that with almost any update that's like PvP related at all. They have a great yeah. grounding, right, to do that now with mm-hmm. tourney worlds. So hopefully mm-hmm. they can. Because every game and their mother has a test beta world, right, or a test version you can download and try it, and then they get feedback and it's just fucking smart. Uh, yeah. Possible to add tracking in before the reward shop. What's that mean? What's tracking in before the reward shop release so players who have not played the minigame before the release do not feel like i don't know what that means i think so hmm it like it says it depends on how the rewards will be added or how they're unlocked with the shop so like maybe each game that you come in first you get a set amount of points i don't know Mm-hmm. Oh, it, like top five. Yeah. so maybe they would like roll over some of your points so you don't feel like you wasted all your hours in it. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I remember I that. That's how it worked. That's how like I'm interpreting. Yeah, no, yeah, yeah, yeah. that makes sense. That's what they exactly do. So they're gonna give you some rank for playing beforehand. So like, yeah, possibly. Yeah, because what they're saying is they can release the mini game, but they may not have the rewards ready at the same time that they release it. I get it. Okay, so you might be able to yeah. use your points to buy things if you play beforehand. Pretty yeah, cool. exactly. Mm-hmm. They'll, they'll keep cool. some sort of point system. Still. But it all depends on how it's going to be added. Yeah. Oh, okay, they could have worded that better. Jesus Christ, that was trash. <laughs> um, yeah, sweet. <laughs> that was great. Yeah, I'm looking forward to LMS. Hell yeah. That's an awesome update, and I think Mod Rock said he's doing it like, in his free time, so... Oh, Bless him, dude. Bless, Bless him. him. I mean, you know what You know what was also on, the, on someone's free time? Major Arena 2. Hey! <laughs> Hey, leave Majorita too. All right, first you hate the polling. You can't get over this. Jesus Christ! Because right. like, how could you, how could you make Dragon Slayer two, and in the Inferno, and then you, and then there's just this Majorita two. 
That's like a 20 minute content or less. What do you want them to fight fucking Inferno in the wild and somebody just slaps their ass behind their shield? What do you want, man? No, nah, I don't know, bro. Whatever it is, it could be so much better than what we got right now. Bro. Oh, For the Lordy. best magic game in the entire game, bro, we get five minutes. He just wants a tornado of death roaming around the wild and you gotta it's shoot so your bow bad, into dude. it. It's so okay. bad, dude. <laughs> right. You have to cast spells in a certain order. So. Really. Yeah, you gotta one take step, delay it's everything. So Exactly. It's just a joke right now. Do any of you guys play Dead Man Mode? I used to. I'm thinking about doing some seasonal with some friends. Did they add new Dead Man Mode changes down here? Because I swear... There's a little bit. I don't really do Dead Man. I don't know if it's... But I like to watch it. Okay, here. I'll read Future of Competitive Gaming. Huh? That's kind of funny. Competitive Gaming. (laughs) Competitive RNG-based DDoSing. Uh, competitive gaming events help grow the community through marketing and f- influencer live streams. So pretty much we use you so we can grow. Brilliant. We want to work closer with you to determine how you can want or what you want from competitive gaming events, whether it be something as small as a community initiative, PVP bingo event. That's a joke. <laughs> PVP clan cup. I, hey, man, whatever. Bingo, competitive, fuck it. Uh... <laughs> To an Uh, entire overhaul of a new competitive gaming mode. We want you to feel like you are being heard. We started our first cabal. I don't know what that word is. I think it's cabal. Yeah, I don't know what that means. Do you know what that means, cabal? Um, It's like a bird. It's not like an animal. Um, In April, by outlining community ideas like a dead man revival and a territory wars event. And we want to continue to gather new and and, 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 ideas. Okay, so... I'm I'm with the bingo. That'd be cool. I'd like to see uh, professional teams around PvP bingo. I won't be on Manx team. This is, <laughs> this is good. I mean, they've put an Those email, so if you have any competitive ideas, you can like email them. That's good. That's a good step yeah. forward. I think their most awesome. their best I'm idea for competitive for is this right here. Everyone starts at the same. Uh, you can play it well. You can their strategy. Uh, there's skill and it rewards you for being good because if you go after kills you get better gear this this is where their competitive should be this is it yeah i agree that could be like a huge new like competitive scene yeah so why are they trying to do all these like other pvp events though because they don't know what the fuck pvp is man Uh, they're just trying everything oh wait so are they are they trying to get rid of demo mode or something I hope. Yeah. Uh, is that what it is? It's like, wait, hold up. Why would you have like PvP bingo and all that stuff? Like, where would where would you fit all that in like their? They're schedule? like, you know what? Fuck, fuck them, man. Let's do bingo. Yeah, because like, are they well, saying? You know how they did like all stars? Yeah. I figured it'd be something similar like that. It's just like in the downtime. But there's like no downtime. They have like four dead man modes every year. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so well, I like, think that's because they're changing dead man mode like completely, so, right? Yeah, so what, how, how are they going to yeah. do it? Like, it does say the dead man oh, and competitive. <laughs> Wait, I, I actually know, but I like what's public information on this? What every, do you know about dead this, mode this is it. I don't know much about it. Uh, yeah. So like what is going on with their PvP event schedule? You know what I'm saying? Because like, it used to be four dead man modes every year, right? But is that going to be the case anymore? Because it's, it's like, now they want to do that, and then they want to add the PvP, like, bingo, and then the cup, and then, like, holy shit, what do you, what do you fit all this, you know, in the schedule, right? It's crazy. I mean, so they're just, they're, tr- they're trying to fix PvP, aren't they? Because it's just, mm-hmm. like, it's not yeah. up to par with PvM. So, and they want well, it to, they yeah, want well, to have a competitive esports scene. Yeah, so. PvM is not perfect. There's so many problems. Yeah. Hey, hey, you nerd. We're not talking about PvM, all right? <laughs> I'm just think. saying, dude, it's like... But, but like, PVM's definitely, like, more catered to with updates yeah, and like, yeah. more players. Just, Every Slayer dungeon it, in existence. It's so baby, that's what it is. PVM is super baby. Mm-hmm. So, and you don't want that, to be honest. You don't want that. You want a better balance than what people... If the community wants it. <laughs> yeah, no, sometimes it's not... We want to teleport everyone. directly to our Slayer task yeah. and then have click one <laughs> thing and woodcut at the same time. Yeah, it's like... A, I don't uh, want to be able to bank in instances. <laughs> Because, like, there's only so many people that will PvP, you know? Like, you're trying to... You're splitting up the community again, right? With all these other shit sometimes. The community's always going to be like, split up, man. There's, there's I know, but, like, more split up. But more well, split up, right? What, wasn't it better when things were more consolidated? Or was it not? How was... how When was it consolidated? Because, like, like, think about it. Like, before all this... All these different things. Like, before, honestly, before old school, was it not just, like, wildy? You know what I mean? Everything's just wildy. 
Well, there was Bounty Hunters, Hunter. still there was... Well, there was a well, bigger well, player base, was and there wasn't a lot of competition for PvP-dropped games, so everyone was playing RuneScape for PvP. Now, it's like, yeah. oh, I don't feel like playing PvP. You go in the wild, you get shit on once, you're like, oh, Fortnite, ooh, Roblox, ooh, you know, other games. So, yeah, that's just, so like, RuneScape's just got, like, so many different PvP choices. I feel like maybe it's better that they consolidate into a few of them rather than, like, so many of them. I feel, I feel like, yes, I agree. They should probably have more. They should um, have like what, like two to three core PVP. Yeah, games like this game. Because right? right now they have like a shit ton, but not of not it's, all of them are core. It's pretty much Rev Caves, uh, high risk PVP worlds, and then Bounty Hunter, and that's the core. But all the other updates that are out in the wild are kind of dry, right? So. I well, feel like I would, I, might I, be I, good I, for getting people who like don't normally PK into it. If it's like if you don't lose any mon money, like learning it yeah that's so why like lms would things where like people can practice it without it being a gold sink and, and pretty like, fun like... yeah right so lms yeah. would kind of get people into like their first step in the wild in a way yeah, it's yeah a really, like... i think it's a good step in the right direction for pvp yeah. mm -hmm. i think it's good i think all around it's a good idea and like they're working on older content instead of just throwing in new ones like you were saying yeah like... they, they don't need any more new pvp content <laughs> i don't think they do they just need to work on existing content for now, yeah, in my opinion. Yeah, I agree. Which, which is they what are. they're doing. I'm yeah. happy it's happening. Yeah. Which is what they're doing. Now let's get back to this bingo, all right? Um... <laughs> <laughs> uh, bingo. Uh, okay, here's the bounty on a rework I was so crazy Whoa. about. Is shoot, is this actually new? This is new, right? Right here. Bingo Hunter. Let's it go. says, two years ago, <laughs> that feels bad, <laughs> a Bounty Hunter rework was mentioned at RuneFest. We promised big changes, then made little progress on those changes, and failed to communicate to our audience, dedicated Bounty Hunter players. It is time we made a start on delivering some of these Bounty Hunter changes. Mod Ooh, Gambit, absolute big peen ween, beast, has now taken on the Bounty Hunter <laughs> rework discussion and planning. Thank God we are now... Uh, like to involve as many people from the bounty hunter community as possible uh, for integrity changes, major content changes, and a new bounty hunter system. We Wait, can, I, can, I, can I take a break real quick? How you dare know, you? I mean, How fucking dare years, you? Two years gap, man. Some of those guys probably got kids, full time jobs, you know, start a family. Uh, most of them made Iron Man and stopped PK. Yeah, yeah. yeah, or made Iron Man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, hopefully those guys can come back. They're like, what's like, a four-way one tick now? And I was like, they don't know none of that anymore. Like yeah, they'll come back and they'll be like, wait, this guy just like one tick swap ten items or something. What happened? Right. <laughs> Coming <laughs> back into PvP after taking a break is the scariest shit. You will get destroyed. I've been PK'd in like a month. I'm scared to go back. <laughs> it's over for you. Dude, dude you're going to get domed by g -Mall, just saying. <laughs> uh -oh. They're going to milk the g -Malls before they nerf it. Oh, um, you're right. I gotta use it while I can. <laughs> so, uh, we will start by inviting some top Bounty Hunter players to an open design discussion covering the current issues and potential solutions. From there, the design will be pitched to you all in the future feedback blog to ensure we're on the right track. The final plan is to release a poll blog based on your feedback. So, they just are really looking for uh, feedback from people to make something nice. Oh, God, a poll blog. I'm scared. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So I think this is mainly going to give us more information. So the leaderboard. This leaderboard will allow players to see who is the top BH kills that day or most emblems farmed. Badass, kind of. Unless it's Randy so again. Farmer. <laughs> emblem <laughs> farmer is going to be rank one. Rank one, yeah. There's a Twitter account that already does this. Really? And, and are they emblem farmers? Hold on. <laughs> But yeah, so that's cool. That'll like officially be in game. That might encourage some people to like keep keep strutting on for some more kills. It's yeah. everyone likes to get a little okay. reward, you know, day one. But yeah, like he posts these every single day, and then he does top few cares of the week. What if a, that sends my Discord's lagging. What what a nice guy. Do you have a um, do you have a Twitter post? Sweet. Uh, yeah, it's Shark Brew underscore. <clears throat> sorry, Shark Brew underscore RS. Oh, there we go. It's loaded. We're going in. Jesus Christ, that picture. Okay. Uh, 
Katie's well, he posts these daily. They reset at the same time every day. Here, I got you. AHK, 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 AHK. Whoa. <laughs> no, but I know the first one is, though, for real. That is AHK, actually. AHK. Um, yeah, <sighs> definitely. <laughs> it's, yes. That's really low. 61 kills is rank one. Damn. For one day. That doesn't seem like... Kills. Oh, okay. In like a 24 hour period, I mean. That's a lot in 24 hours. That's a, a decent time. amount. Some people on the weekend, you'll see some people get like 90 or 100. It's crazy. Is this like a fursona? I don't know. Because that's hot. Um... Well, his name is Shark Group, <laughs> so there's got to be some sharks in there. Huh? See, look at Katie's on like the top leaderboard most these days. See, they do like weekly ones too. Yeah, Katie's BH. Um, yeah, HKs, huh? Oh, yeah, very hard HK. Pretty much the new meta right now for gaining a lot of target kills is they'll teleport to you and then one tick your ass, and then if they don't kill you, they'll just go, oh, okay, and then run away. So that's that's pretty much it. So it's kind of shit for that combat bracket, but what you going to do? Uh, yeah. Um, okay, uh, some more updates. What about these emblem farmer stuff, you know? <laughs> this Isn't is not a big issue? Nah, nah, that's um, fine. They're good. They're good. So They're they good. kind of mentioned emblem farmers in a different part of this blog. Did they? Where they say that they want to make tier ten tradable, and they said it'll make it easier for them to like. I know that is. Farmers. Yeah. Allow tier ten emblems yeah, to be, be tradable. Great, yeah. So that... I was kind of worried about that because I was scared that emblem farmers would just like destroy the price of tier tens, and like emblems are the only reason why bounty hunter is worth doing right now, in my opinion. But mm -hmm. they've been actively banning emblem farmers like more often, so that's nice. And if it allows them to track it more, then yeah, like I guess go for it. If they make the shop, like if they yeah. do it when they update the shop, I think that's fine. But I feel like it's totally gonna come before the shop's updated. Well, apparently, if you watched, um, is it Sir Pugger's videos on emblem farmers, right, where they can buy one dollar memberships, right, and then make accounts mm -hmm. fresh, so. I mean, yeah, they can ban them, but by the time they ban these accounts, they've already made new ones that have another seven-day membership. So it's not even really denting anything. It's a really smart setup. And some of them, some of them like hide. Some farms hide. Some of them are just directly in the middle. They don't care. They're like, yeah, we're farming. No fucks given. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. and they'll get like two hundred kills in a day. It's insane. Which is a decent amount of two tens. <laughs> like, yeah, I know. And how do they even I sell them? Right. Like, multiple accounts going. How do they how do they I trade them off? I think most of them sell them to players because like in the shop, what you get like one point three mil, if you're lucky, and that's like taking your time. But if you sell it to players in bulk, who will then just sell it for the full price? But they they go down every point time point you die, right? So tier ten to tier nine, then tier nine to tier eight. So they're losing money every time they die to somebody. So like, how are you well, trading off all these so emblems? So let's say. Let's say I was an emblem farmer. Oh, and I had like got 20 her. tier 10s. It's over. Well, I'm not, but let's no, say I was. Over, see it. Hmm? Okay. Continue okay. Your... And yeah. then let's say I sell them to you for like 1.4 mil each. And then you can sell them to other players for 2 mil each if you go and upgrade them. So it's just making you a ton of money in the long run. Damn, so there's the in between people. I got to get up on this. Oh my lord. I want to be the in betweener. That'd be sweet. No, there we go, baby. No, what are they gonna do? What are, I'm just buying, all right. I'm just, <laughs> I'm just buying, dude. This is some bullshit. Well, I feel like that's what happens, like right now. So that would help them track it a little bit. That'd be yeah. nice. We'll see. We'll see. Uh, once you can trade I'm, it, I'm then scared. we will know. <laughs> it's. I hope they don't tank. I hope tier tens actually go up in price when you can trade them. I feel like they will. Tier but... tens go down, or like. So since they won't degrade on death anymore, you can get an extra rune pouch if you're buying a tier 10 from someone. Right. So hopefully that'll help them keep the price a little bit. But so then... where does the 1.3 mil come from? Is it based on the out price of the things you can buy? No, um, people so buy rune pouches. Sense? That's why. Rune pouches. No, um, so in the shop you can buy like arrows or rune legs and sell them for like 1.3 mil if you wait. So... Okay. I think ALK value is about like 1 mil or 1.2 mil. I could be so wrong. What, so what you're you saying is... You can ALK tier 10s? No, no, no you buy items way. in the shop and then you okay. ALK the items. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> that's, that's what I'm saying. It's because then it can't really crash because they're... But right technically... now, they're like around 2 mil. Like if I sell oh, them to okay, okay. like 2 mil. So, so what I'm saying is at, at its worst, will be about the ALK price. 
Yes, but then that would make tier 7s kind of worthless, because tier 7s yeah. are like one rune pouch. And then you would have to go through a clan, because only tier 10s will be tradable. And then I'm worried that tier 1s would also decrease in price. But yeah. Oh, tier 1s are far like yeah. yeah, it would it would go down with it, sure, because like, you know, tier 10s yeah. will be going. And if like, even if I up. didn't run a clan, I don't even profit off my clan, I'd be worried about this, but... Yeah. Mm. Right? Yeah, it's just... like the reward's worthwhile. Y'all good it's down there, Rakesy, by the way? You've been a little silent, man. Fine. Yeah, I just... I, I'm just listening. I don't really know too much about what... Yeah, same. Like, I just know... I just... I'm curious about price. That's all. <laughs> but yeah, 1.3. I just sell them to players, so I could be wrong on the pricing, but I believe it's around 1.3 mil from the shop. Yeah, yeah. Like, max. And so, logically, if they... If they... I'm just thinking, like, how effective are they banning these guys? I, I'm assuming not very, not, really. not very effective. Not really, right? Have you seen? Have you I not seen the Surf Puggers video, Rice? Well, like, I mean, I've seen it, but it's like there's a couple, I, but the newest one, right? Have you seen the newest one? What's the newest one? So pretty much they'll get banned. Sorry, and there's these uh, free mobile memberships that are going on, and you can get them and oh. claim them, right? So, but yeah. they found a way to make it so you can use that and then play on your computer. And people are selling them for under a dollar. So they'll just put all these memberships on their farmers and they'll already be back by the time they're banned the next day. And yeah, so... So, like, that's what I'm thinking. So oh, and the Twitch they Prime. Can track, <laughs> like, even if they can detect these guys and ban those accounts, mm -hmm. it doesn't stop them, though. No. I know, I'm worried it's going to, like, saturate. So, what is the... So, like, they need to find a, a better solution than just simply banning these accounts. Yeah, and it's hard because it's hard to yeah. do without restricting actual like players doing the mini game. Yeah, because like I, I feel like the yeah exactly. It, it just seems like banning is kind of almost pointless because you they just keep making accounts anyways. Like not up. so, mm -hmm. they need to find a way to stop the activity to begin with. Yeah, and I feel like it's <laughs> yeah. Especially I mean, as as obvious as that sounds, things. I mean. They're only like trimming, like they're only like pruning the the fucking you know leaves and shit. They're not actually like going for like big. But we don't really know how to f get to the core of it. You know? Like, yeah, it's tough. Because like it, it's when you do bounty hunter, isn't it just exclusively on the Ezreal side? Like, or um, I feel like maybe if they perhaps kind of uh, I don't know. I'd say that's where most people are, but you can also go like deep wild. Yeah. You can go like rock. Yeah, because like most of those guys, they usually just like chill on the right past the river. Hmm. So I wonder if there's a way by geography. Like three main locations that they hang out. One is like yeah. as far west as you can go in Edge, and then one is like east past like Varrock. Uh, uh, yeah, and then there's some of them just do it out in the middle. Some do it in multi. I was curious, I'm like, how many emblem farms can I find in 60 seconds? And I found like six. <laughs> That's brilliant. Yeah. Oh brilliant. man, bounty hunter is so fucked. <laughs> Cause like, what does what do these reworks even do to stop them? Nothing. To be honest. No. Well, Jesus yeah. Jesus Christ. There's I probably mean, more behind the scenes, but it's a separate issue, isn't it? Like they just need to deal with their bots in general. Like mm -hmm. they just need to deal I with their bots. Know. But like, but the thing is, these guys are exclusively uh, exploiting the bounty hunter system. So it definitely like it's very tied to the whole bounty hunter reward system the way it is right now i mean yeah, it, here's exactly. like a short-term solution so like that twitter that you just sent that records uh bounty hunter target kills like for gold farmers clearly they'd be the guys that were at the very top if they were to just take their names every day send them off to jagex they could get bans in the short term they do get banned pretty see. fast that's what so. they do though that's what they oh, okay. do and they get made they the next day but they make new accounts right they just make new accounts what they should do is you can't yeah. trade or die for emblems if your account's only like a week old. Easy yeah. peasy. I feel like that would be a honestly. I think that's a good solution. Boom, like, mod minty bitch. Well, you make those accounts <sighs> like if they find out on average how long those accounts last, they can just make it so that like you cannot produce emblem on those accounts. That's exactly. Because like someone suggests they were like, what if you had to hold the tier like the tier ten in your bank for like two to three weeks before you can sell it or trade it? Oh, whoa, 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 whoa! I don't know about that. Oh, <laughs> I, I feel like that's not. That I feel like that's too that's hard. So I feel like that yeah. would like definitely discourage. Because it's mainly just players. these new accounts, right? That yeah, exactly. farm up. So if you just any new account can't yeah. upgrade, can't I sell, feel. can't trade an emblem, and it would just make sense. 
Yeah, how about how about this, right? So like, you know how they're saying um, they're gonna make tier 10s tradable, whatever? Yes. Okay, so if they make it that way, right? That means they'll increase their banning uh, efficiency because then they can track it and ban it faster, right? So, That's what they're saying, yes. So, so let's say they set that up, right? And then they start uh, figuring out how many like how many days those guys, those each character usually lasts. They and already know that info, up. dude. They already know that info. They do? Oh, okay. Yeah. Then they can just set that parameter for the... For That's the what I'm saying. Emblem. That'd be sick. So that if, if it's like those accounts doesn't exceed those days, they just can't get an emblem. Dude, I'm hitting up Pugger right now, bro. All right. Bada bing, bada boom. <laughs> I should actually. And That's then it. I think that would kind of just solve it because they, like, even if they make those bots, they can make a billion of them, but if they can't generate a single emblem off of them in X amount of days, you know what I mean? But they get banned. Like, yeah. And like yeah. if farmers, if emblem farmers were an issue, like tier 10 tradable would be awesome. It would help everyone out. Yeah. It would make it easier for PKers to sell them. PVMers yeah. would be yeah. getting like more rune patches out of it. There's no risk of going through like a clan. I know people are like scared of doing that. Win win, baby. Like a trust trade. Uh, there's a couple. Or, I mean, maybe they don't even need to make it tradable, but yeah, necessarily. You just have to make it so that those accounts just can't generate emblem. Mm hmm. Yeah. There's another uh, BH rework, by the way. So, disable box traps, uh, fires? Disable fires, what the fuck? Bird snares and cannons from being set up in BH worlds. When on a BH world in 1 to 10 wild, you cannot set up any of those. Because I guess the looters do that. They'll put up a snare yeah. or a cannon so they can loot it, which is evil. Mm -hmm. So, that's going to be added. I don't... It's a nice change, you know? It's nothing crazy. People used to just come in and place cannons everywhere, and then they would rag you on another account, <laughs> and, like, <laughs> banners and stuff. Yeah. It's so evil. And it's a mess. Yeah. People are a mess. People are <laughs> shitty, aren't they? They're just really shitty. Yeah, we play RuneScape to escape real life. We should all, like, just try to have a good time, you know, not bring others <laughs> down. That's how they do it, man. They just, uh, they just be real <laughs> shitty. Um... <laughs> Cosmetic Reward Shop Additions. So, as the Rune Pouch can be now obtained via Slayer, there aren't any unique rewards for partic participating in BH. They want to create more uniques or cosmetics. Apparently, they're, they want to make more cosmetics for LMS Reward Shop, BH Reward Shop. They just really like making it look like a private server, <laughs> apparently. Yeah, <laughs> like, how weird yeah, can we make you look? Be careful with the <laughs> right. cosmetics. Too much cosmetics. Uh, the, the trouble is, when they bring like new items into the game, they just don't pass the polls. Mm -hmm. So, like, they aren't really left with any other option apart from just giving us more like yeah. stuff, which is worthless, you know? It's just, I mean, it's just the way the polls are. Well, like, it's just some cosmetics can be highly valued, and you can tell. Game. Certain cosmetics. Og. So what you're saying, Rexy, is uh, that's the only way they can continue to release new content is cosmetically, then? Because people I don't mean, want, like, new items. I think it means they, incentive. Yeah. yeah, it's a very safe way of releasing new content because it will pass because like it's not a changer. Fussed about cosmetics, yeah, exactly. But like, if they, I don't know, if they had like a reward for like a weapon or armor, like God, yeah, no, nah, I don't feel like pass. we need to go there. Yeah, we don't need to go there. That's what I'm saying. So you know, they can't really do much more than what they're currently yeah. doing. I'm not necessarily against cosmetics. I'm just saying they just gotta okay. make sure it fits. Are there like I any guess. rewards you guys would like to see from Bounty Hunter? Purple yeah, Mystic. Why don't they just? Yeah, why don't they just ask players for cosmetic suggestions? You know what I'm saying? I personally like... want different colored halos. Like if I could have like a purple or like Ooh. a white halo, that'd be awesome. Yeah, that'd be That's great. Because right? like if you just give players the cosmetics that they want, then mm -hmm. then it's uh, it's guaranteed, right? You just induce it, and then people will go for climbing it boot enough. colored kits. Oh my God! Yes. There you go. <laughs> Oh. Or like, like that, right? you know how the hunter, the hunter's honor hat, it's currently always lost on death, and like it's always blue or I think it's like this pink purple. If you have more rogue kills than oh red and blue, yeah, target kills, yeah, it's just like useless. I want it to like update yeah. on like the amount of target kills you have. It could like change shape or color or something. Oh, well, that'd be kind of cool. cool. That'd be yeah. nice. Yeah, players suggested cosmetic. Didn't they used to have a helmet like that. If they did, I don't know. Um, not that I can think of. Yeah, yeah, they could they could do something interesting with that hat. They could like it, it's quite expensive, right? Or am I completely off base with that? I, don't uh, know. I think you can get it with the tier ten. Okay, so it's relatively expensive. So yeah. if they made it so that upgraded, but you had to have it with you when you got a kill, and then say I don't know ten kills, it just upgraded every single kill and got more and more cool. 
that's kind of cool because like you're risking effectively a, t uh, a tier 10 every single time like i don't know if people would like that but that could be interesting i suppose yeah. Better not be they nudes. Be All right. Old hats, I guess. What in the fuck? These are creepy. Oh my the lord. Wild stalker helmets, I guess. Then we got that oh, foot that you like right here. Fruit. There you go. Um, oh wait, two thousand and eleven. No, that wasn't RuneScape for it. These these didn't, these yeah, weren't in the game, were they? I remember something like this. Were, or are these a suggestion or like they were? I don't know. I don't remember. I don't remember. Jesus Christ. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's too. It's. I mean, like, whatever. I no, feel like crazy, players. Like, suggest all of them kind of look like buttholes. Like the blue one, maybe it could change like size or like color. Or something. Like this one really looks like a butthole. I mean, <laughs> I think Mint's DC. And by the way, boys. No, yes. no, Shay can hear me talk about buttholes or Shy. Is, is, is it me? I can hear him. Yeah. Is it? Is it, is it me? You, you just want to hear about the booty holes. I'm having good connection right now. Oh, we're on a. Uh, U.S. West. I don't know if that has oh yeah, change either. it to East. Change it to East. It'll, it'll be a lot better. Tell me. Here's the picture. Whoever called. Fuck! Oh, I, don't, oh, I got you. All right, U.S. Yeah, East. Boom. Oh God. Jesus oh, Christ. Hello. What have you done? Yeah, what in the fuck okay, have you done? Good, okay. Good. Okay. Uh, Is it me? <laughs> Is your connection better now? <laughs> Slap your webcam oh, on, boy. Discord just completely dropped. Oh, you're good. You're no, good. we changed the server. Uh, yeah. I just googled Donkey Hunter uh, helmets and I found that. So. I mean, it looks cool. This guy's mad. Yeah. This guy's a clown. Cult. I mean, yeah. Purple yeah. butthole. Yeah. Reaper. Cool. Yeah, Shy. You should gra gather some player suggested cosmetics and send it over to the boys. Yeah, I, I did a stream like. I don't know, seven months ago where we did that, but I could try doing that. Dragon again. Fire yeah, Shield yeah, trim, guns, dude. Yo, get it while it's hot, because you know while they're while they're still remembering that bounty hunters thing and mm -hmm. updates, whatever. I just feel like it's really hard to get people to want to go PKing. It's like, yeah, that's true. Oh hey, I want to go lose money trying to learn doing something that like people have mastered or that they HK and cheated. What? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. The thing with RuneScape players, a lot of them just want to. They just want a goal, and they just want to strive for a goal. But PK is kind of like almost, in a way, goalless because you're just there for the moment, right? You're just there for like, just for that. You're moment. living in the moment, yeah. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Whereas <laughs> a lot of players, I realize they're just like, "What should I do in the game?" Like literally every day, I have like 10, 20 people ask me, "What should I do in the game?" Like, "What should I set goals?" You know what I mean? For I'm like. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's it's so goal oriented now. You know, yeah. so goal oriented. Dude, I just tell them to get Barry gloves. <laughs> yeah. Just get yeah. Barry gloves. <laughs> that keeps them busy. Like, you don't. You, know, you never tell them like, oh, why don't you become a PKer? <laughs> you know, you don't well, say that. It's like you don't tell them that. That's like up to them to decide. But yeah, it's exactly. Like, you know, like, Barry gloves oh, should be the first thing you go. You know for. what you should do? Hey, get Barrel's gloves and then go PK. <laughs> it's like I don't know. It's just weird because. Because people are always, they just want to do something. They want to get a goal done. They want to, like, get a certain item, right? People like progress. And PKing yeah. doesn't really flow into that, like, path, I guess. That, that, mm -hmm. that well, path. you set your own goals, right? So if yeah. you're somebody who wants to make money, for example, and you're good at PK and you PK for money, if you want to make yeah. gold and you're good at PVM and you have patience, you do PVM. It yeah, just depends so, on them. Like, they have to set of, their own goals. Yeah, yeah, but you see, a lot of people, I realize, I, like, I always say, you know, Know, please do your own thing but but like it often ca times come off as, as arrogant and then a lot of people actually i realize that a lot of people just want to be told what to do and what ends up happening is that they're people doms will, well people just tell them why don't you go and kill vorkat for <laughs> three an hour right why don't you go and kill zora like two yeah. an hour or whatever they want to be they dominated never, like that's the thing they don't even want to be told they, they don't want to be given the freedom they just want someone that they think knows what they're doing in the game to just tell them what to do and and we'll never just... will that person say go and pk dude how do we just get on this combo just... i feel like that's why like guys prime. are big. That's what like you need to do. Huge. honestly yeah <laughs> tell I, me go to twitch sucks. prime what the fuck? yeah so you know what you should do twitch prime <laughs> should get buyer gloves and twitch prime, and then twitch twitch prime. Hey, uh -huh. yeah very nice very nice uh, now i was crazy. thinking about the cause i don't know how the hell we got on this conversation man yeah, yeah. but yeah, i was thinking about cosmetics I said it's so hard to get people into pvp which is oh, okay yeah yeah that's what yeah. started it cool. yeah because i was and like cosmetics it, could be like a nice little incentive i guess yeah. but not what do you think like, about I, I, so like items them, right instead of recoloring them right instead of recoloring they just have different like an animation when wielded like say you have a dfs 
And then you put mm-hmm. something on the DFS and the dragon kind of moves, like the face on it a little bit, right? It leaves a rainbow trail. Who knows? Well, no, no, get this shit. No, not a rainbow trail. I ain't no piece uh, of... I was just like a moving... Different like, pride, dude. Yeah, Different go pride. on. Something like that, you know? That'd be kind of cool. Some of these armors and updates. Instead of yeah. recoloring them, give them an animation, right? But, but it's really I hard. Mean, to get, I feel like it's hard to get anything else in there. You yeah. know, like you were saying, most hey, most things wouldn't pass. And you know, us. we always talked about the ELO system. I feel like that would definitely bring people to DK. Because that's like a cool goal, I feel like. Right? People want to get Do you know what? It's a really interesting uh, thing, right? So with this last man standing update, we're saying that it'd be good for PvP, which I agree. And I think the last man standing update looks really fun and good. Mm-hmm. But there is another side to it, right? It needs to be rewarding to a point where it's... Um, it's intriguing to people and people want to play it, but it can't be so rewarding that it's more rewarding than PVP in the wilderness itself, because otherwise that is counterproductive and that does exactly what we don't want it to do, which is to make the wilderness less active. So that's like the flip side. That's kind of interesting to think of. It cannot be too rewarding, but it needs to be rewarding enough to entice people to play it. I feel like the reward should top out if you're a god. Like if you're winning every game, it should definitely be... Uh, more than what you would make at revs because you're winning every game right it's like one to 25 you got to be that number one guy you put in the time and effort so if you're a god at something you know but most of the people who play lms you're not going to be making money you're gonna <laughs> probably like 10th yeah, place yeah. or yeah like people die. try to learn or like yeah not too familiar with it yeah yeah so unless you win maybe right so you can get like some stale points every time you lose but if you only if you're winning should you actually make insane money right so i mean confession time i've never played last month standing but do the top three players get prize money or is it just the winner it's Was it top five or top, top three? three i believe the first okay. guy won most of it and the second and third one, like, sort of. I can't even like remember. smaller portions of it. I think, what was it, like, um, 100k buy-in, and then you'd win 1.2.5 mil? Or you'd win, like, something like, like 1.8 mil, and the rest got divided up between the other two or something. Yeah, and there was, like, some that went off into the game, right? Something like that. And you could do free mm-hmm. free games, and you just win rank, I guess, or maybe not yeah, even rank. I- I can't wait for this last man standing oh, thing dude. to come into the game. I'm honestly so Oh, uh, why do they have to pull this shit? Just put it in. It shouldn't be pulled. Just give it to us. Yeah, pulling it, it is rough. It's I scary. hope they find a new way to like pull PvP content, but I don't know how they would. Like I, I'm I, scared that anything regarding the BH rework is gonna get pulled. I think that they should have a different approach to when it comes to priority updates in game for mm. things which are completely fucked and struggling, which PvP is a prime <laughs> example of that. And like I've said in the past, like with PvP polls, if it fails 75%, uh, if it's between the 65% and 75%, but it didn't pass, I think Jagex should be able to take the initiative and just do whatever the fuck they want with it. Mm-hmm. Literally, they should just pa- they should just push it through. Because at this point, it's like that stuff is priority, and it does need to have some tweaks and new things added and fixes, what if, et cetera. What if they made it so like every JMod had a vote? So when something voted and it didn't pass but it was close, each JMod would also vote secretly? You know? <laughs> yeah, kind of like a no, Congress no. in a way, dude. <laughs> no, you know what <laughs> You don't think, me. You oh. think our community would be okay with that? <laughs> dude, it'd, it'd be like the government. Any of, watch, any of you watch Game of Thrones? Is that the one with the yeah. dragons? I stopped that season And the four. boobies? Okay, you know recently... I'm not going to give any spoilers, hey, but hey, there's like, there's spoilers. like a, there's a, ca- spoilers. There's a council meeting. There's a council meeting. What's his, his, his name's not Sam. I don't know why I want to say Sam. Samuel. You know, um, Sammy. What's his, the big, the, the chubby the guy. Oof. Yeah, Sam was um, Harley. Yeah, yeah. But yeah. he's like, maybe we should let the peasants vote. Oh my <laughs> God, that's what I'm rising. That is like the funniest shit ever. <laughs> and one, one, of the, uh, one of the knights was just like, yes, I'll ask my horse his opinion. <laughs> 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 oh, it's terrible. For, like, <laughs> for the rework, I think this doesn't require like 50 BH kills to vote or something. But I don't know how that would go with other like PvP content because not everyone likes Bounty Hunter. Not everyone should Yeah, be you know what's funny? It's just, vote. yeah. Yeah, the, the PvP has different groups too, so. Mm hmm. Just it's ban tough. them all. Pass every PvP poll. Let's get it. All right. What's the next? Uh, what's the next update? There's another. Poll. Yeah, yeah. Linky, Linky. 
Uh, are we gonna talk about it? We, yeah. How long has this podcast been? <laughs> Don't worry about the small details, I, I, there, I, I, little boy. It's been like two hours. Look at how funny Rice looks <laughs> in that fucking. Look at him. He's just a little chubby, little smile mm-hmm. right there, dude. He's looking great. This is this is haircut, man. It brings out his little hamster cheeks. His cute hamster <laughs> cheeks. Anyway, <laughs> um, wait. What what is the other poll about? Linky, because Linky. Is, Where's the link, man? I don't what, know which one. Uh, the the newest one you want to talk about? Link it up. I don't oh, have it. Sidious? Yeah, bro. I already... You guys have there been we go. for two hours. Maybe we should wait until the next time. How Which dare you? How dare you? Games. No, we will talk about oh, it now. No, no, no. Shy She's really wants to talk that. about it. Look at her. She. Pff, Whatever. Like... Dude, my page is in German, and it keeps saying that, like, 404 not found when I try to open up these Can you read us a little German here? Let's hear it. <laughs> You're going to offend a whole country. Zitin. I don't know what that says. Sounds like a food. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I'm hungry. Schnitzels. Oh man, sorry, German Schnitzels. viewers. <laughs> right, dude, this is something completely separate. I say we we save this for the next one. We're on two hours right now. To be continued. We should save this. We should save this. Yeah. We should save this. I don't think it's time. worth saving. Till farm. Also, I mean, no, 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 seriously, I saw something on dead man mode at the bottom. <laughs> We're yeah. going. All right, let's. How about how about we do this? It's related. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, do the DMM. All go. right. <clears throat> All right, the Dead Man Perma Death Stage Beta goes live tomorrow, Friday, twenty fourth on May. There will be two play tests, and participation is open to everyone. Help to test the Dead Man. Okay, I don't know why I read that. As usual, that God damn it. Okay, is there an actual thing here in other news? No. No, it looks like it was just talking about it. Yeah, play, play test. test. There is a. There, here's right here, right here. Dead Man PVP change. The lever for teleporting out the cavity layer. Now respects Telly Blocks on PvP and MMO worlds. What? Really? Yeah, so I it guess never worked before. <laughs> was... Not on Dead Mode and PvP worlds, apparently. It wasn't considered a teleport. Oh my lord. <laughs> so, <laughs> that's so yeah, funny. Okay. But yeah. you're not technically in the wild. You know they should do on Bounty Hunter Worlds. If you're TB'd you can't go into um uh Rune Altars or the Zami Mage. Because people always escape into there and they camp it, right? Mm-hmm. And it's sneaky, but it's shitty and they should die in a fire, all right? Like the water staff people, so that'd be cool. Actually, I don't think there's any uh-huh. Yeah, if you bring a water staff to the wilderness, you automatically <laughs> Yes! <laughs> yes! Vote yes to that poll. Uh-huh. Okay. <laughs> I think we got most of what we wanted covered, so. Yeah, honestly, we cover everything. We'll see this will be next time. I'm excited for the BH rework and to see more blogs about it so we can get more information. Yeah, you're the queen of BH. Shine, yeah, it's so. Jay. You should get flown out and ask her opinion on it. Know, you should just man. like hammer oh, on yeah, to it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. breathe there. Hey, hey, where's my just... flight? Where the fuck's my flight? <laughs> you're not a BHer. You're a rever. You know, whenever they do rever. What do you mean? I got 50 tier 10s yeah. on my baby pure. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah. Actually, yeah, Mitch just lives in reasonable. Are you gonna try to sell them before they're tradable? Uh, I'm gonna get 1,000 kills on my baby pier and then some do something okay. with them. I don't know. I'll probably trade them on my man. I don't care about cash. Uh, <laughs> you know, Rakesy's got me. I'm I'm connected to Rakesy's bank, so I'm fine, dude. I got I got that two bill on log whenever I need it, right, bro? Thanks. No. <laughs> <laughs> look at his look at his face. It's like nah. <laughs> <laughs> all right uh so uh, I, dude it's only one bill at the moment i've got my tebow let out i i've let it to one of my newbie friends and he's had it for like two months and probably made like a hundred mil I don't, Jeez. Even I don't know what he's doing with that tebow man but he must be oh. killing goblins or some shit i don't know <laughs> I just see him like, sitting he, out he's there not using it right fucking pyro poly man i was actually he uh owns my spotify and i was driving earlier and then all of a sudden, this uh, this song came blaring on. He controlled it from his computer, and I can't think what it was. It's like the gayest song I've ever heard in my life. And I, I had the volume so. at full blast as well. I was like, fuck's sake. That's great. Right. Oh, anyway, Shay, thank you very much for coming on. Where can the people you find you? Me. What are your social medias? Oh, let me link them. Well, Twitch Shy right there. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Twitch. My Twitter is ShyOSRS. It's shy, Rakesy, all right? If I have to learn it, you have to learn it. God damn it. <laughs> it looks like Shay. I don't care. You can call me Shay. It doesn't matter. Uh, yeah, but that's about it. I only really use Twitter and Twitch. Right. I have a Discord, but... Go I'm check her out Discord, for some so. uh, Fire Cape yeah, and Twitter PK and content. Link in the description. 
Yeah, so guys, make sure if you want to check out Shy, the links are down in the description. Make sure you do, guys. So proud. Hey, I got it that time. So fucking proud. All right.